Welcome to the show. Tonight, the great Gilbert Gottfried joins us for the full hour. And um, anyways, I'm here with the opening remarks, as always, with my trusty sidekick, Adam Egas. You're all dressed up. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Important. Whatever. What are you, from you, the 50s? You told me to wear this. What? <laughs> Whatever. How have you been doing? Great, man. I mean, what happened last week? Where were you? Last week? Where was I? Where were you? I was here. No, I, I was here. You were here, yeah. and I, di I didn't go. Yeah. But listen to this, man. I have Where been were having, you? I've been having a little bit of crisis about my entire career. I don't know if you're supposed to open this. But you know what? I don't give a fuck. What's going on with you, man? I'm into, uh, I went to San Francisco. Okay. And uh, I know you were uh, raised in San Francisco. No, reared, reared in San Francisco. You know okay. what? That's what's wrong with this show. It's just a bunch of shit. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, well, I went to San Francisco where there's important comedy. And I'm telling you, I've changed my whole world, world view. I went to the Purple Onion. Place closed down like a year ago or months. Purple Onion? Yeah, it's yeah, a it plug and uh, tire store now. But I got some nice white walls. What else did you do out there? Met Mort Saul, you ever hear that fucker? Sure, yeah, sure. Well, anyways, I talked to him, and I realized all we do is shit on this show. Like People love it, it's hilarious. People love shit, too, you know what I mean? People love actual shit. Well, they don't, no, they don't. Some people. But I'm saying that people like the lowest common denominator, you know what I mean? Um, it's like fucking, you know what I'm about? It's like... Um, Gustav Flambert. Gustav, you ever hear of him? No. He was a guy. But uh, he, was, he was into, I've just changed all, all my idea. It, it, thou, wilt, huh? You're just saying words. Well, I've changed a lot of my philosophies about comedy, and it's about time. Like, who is my favorite comedian that ever lived? Rodney Dangerfield, hands he, down. Funniest guy that has ever been. Agreed. Yeah, he's shit. What? That's he's, right. He's your hero. He's oh yeah, he's, he's the greatest stand-up that ever lived. Yeah. He, here's an example of one of his jokes. Um, I had a blind date. I I went to say I tell you you know the way he talked you know. Actually, he says I had a blind date. I went. I said, "Are you Doris?" She said, "Are you Rodney?" I said, yeah. She said, I'm not Doris. <laughs> you know, it's funny, but it's shit. No, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny, yeah, but it's, really... not, it's not good. It's not important. It's great. No. What's great is, uh, is jokes about wilt it thou. Again, just words. You're just saying words. I'm telling you that it's important. You know? Have you ever heard of uh, things that are bigger than just funny? Like important things like... Uh, What's going on in the world? Did you ever think of that? Kobe? From the Lakers? Everyone says that. Kobe from the Africa. He's uh, a black guy also. Coney. Huh? Coney. Coney, Kobe, yeah. It depends on which part of the dialect. <laughs> you know? Yeah, okay, sure. They, Coney, kill, yes, with, they kill with machetes. Mm -hmm. How'd you like that? You oh. wake up in your hut, and there's Coney, and who's with him? His army of children. Yeah. It would be horrible. Yeah. There's nothing funny Bunch about that children, at all. Bunch of children macheting you. And then what's your recourse? You kill a child. And that doesn't look good either. That's not funny at all. Really? Well, uh, I happen to talk about it for most of my act now. Yeah, I was meaning to talk to you about that. Is that that explains what happened at the comedy store when you came by? At last the weekend? world famous comedy store. You weren't there. You're the manager. You weren't even there. I, I was there. You were saw yeah, my why act. Why didn't you do? No, I didn't get a chance to see the act. I came in w when you were about to be done. Why, yeah. why didn't you do the answering machine bit? My always answering kills. machine bit always kills. Always kills. That's about like how I phone the answering. Your answering machine, hoping that you don't answer. <laughs> I'm actually hoping to get the answering machine <laughs> rather than every the time. person. I don't do it. It's anymore. funny and true. It's funny and it's not important. A lot of be people that as it are may. funny. Look at fucking Gilbert Godfrey. He's going to be on the show later. Hilarious. Yeah, but he's not important. He's the least important fucking shit. Fuck. So you're saying what the, the stunt you pulled at the store last that weekend was, stunt. was? That was my first was important. important. You know, people com comedians have been murdered in this country. For what they believe in? What? Yes. You didn't know that, did you? I don't know. You don't even it. know 
Gustave Lebron. That's his name. All right. Gustave Lebron. You said it was Laflemme or something. Now you're saying he's Lebron. I was thinking of Flaubert. Oh. Again, you're just saying, well, I don't think you even understand what any of this means. Ilt, really? Wilt, I will. Well, you're just saying basketball players. LeBron, Kobe, Wilt. That's a coincidence. <laughs> so you didn't do the answering machine bit. I didn't see your act. You want to know how I did? Unanswered narcissism? Jingoist. Jingoist. You want to know how I know you didn't do the answer machine? Uh, how did you Cause know? Because it always kills. It always I walk kills. in that room, there's one guy left, and you're choking him out. Oh, I hated that fucker. The guy was blind. Yeah, he was blind to the truth. No, he was actually blind, and you, you hit him. I hit him with my fist of truth. <sighs> I had a compass tab, Norm. Then why don't you learn about crowd control? By LeBron. Yeah, because he did a famous treatise on it, fucker. I'd like to see what Gilbert has to say about it. Well, Gilbert, Gilbert is very funny and essentially uh, meaningless. Uh, I mean, whether or not he had been born really doesn't matter. Because unless you're murdered for what you believe in, what's the point? What happened to you? We'll be back with a Gilbert Godfrey. I don't look at no fucking cameras no more. <laughs> I'm Gilbert Godfrey, and everyone is always asking me how I got on this show. Well, here's how, so you can watch. Look, this isn't a stick up, and I don't want any money or anything, but, but where's the camera? I need an audition tape right away. You just gotta film me. I need an audition. There's a big show coming up. There's a big show. Wait, all right. I got hostages. My wife is so fat. Oh. Uh, 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 how, how fat is she? She's so fat when she sits around the house. She sits around the house. And can, can you believe they let me go from the show? <laughs> I, I mean... That seems almost like, like that uh, uh, Bill Murray, you know, when he came on and he said, hey, I'm a funny guy, give me a chance when he wasn't doing good. Remember that? Oh, was that no. the idea of that? I, who the hell knows? That was such a horrible season it on the show. Was that the first year of Eddie? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. First, first so it was se- you and Eddie. Uh, me, Eddie Murphy, Joe Piscopo. Some ladies, I remember. Uh, yeah. There Melanie were... L- 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 no, no. Chartoff. She came later. She came later on. <laughs> Chartoff. There was a lady. Yeah, there. that was a Melanie Chartoff. That's what I just Chartoff. said. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Melanie sorry. Chartoff. I apologize. There was Melanie Chartoff. <laughs> yeah. But she wasn't I remembered my, this fucking old bed. She wasn't on my season. Oh, she wasn't on your no, season. Who, no. who are the ladies on your season? Okay. Uh, and don't who? start applauding at once. <laughs> Save it to the end. <laughs> uh, uh, Gail Mathias. Yes. And Risley. She was blonde, a little yes. a hefty lady. No, she wasn't hefty. No, she was gorgeous. But she was blonde. <laughs> and she then, was a bombshell. Then, <laughs> She'd often play a, a prison guard. And, right? <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, she was in yeah. all the uh, prison guard <laughs> movies. And, and, oh, uh, catch it. yes, and, and, and Risley. I don't remember. And don't Denny Dillon. Oh, Denny Dillon, also hefty. Maybe she's a She was that. more on the hefty Short, side. Portly. No, oh, Denny Dillon. Yeah, was, yeah, De- Denny yeah, Dillon. Yeah, she was like, uh. Like a balloon. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> But she and, went on to sort of semi. And, well, semi, and I think her biggest thing she did, she played Roseanne Barr in a Roseanne Barr TV movie. Wow. Yeah, huh. she played like was yeah, a biographer, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and I heard Roseanne called an ain't fucking troll. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Roseanne, that's what Kevin Nealon told us. Tell, us that, tell him that story out of me again. He doesn't have his own anecdotes. No. No, no, no. All my anecdotes, 90% of my anecdotes come from Kevin Nealon, yeah. but he told this real doozy about... I should uh, talk to him. Yeah, you office. should. You I should. can have some fun. He said, he said during Roseanne's Rosanna talk show. Roseanne's talk show. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, yes, yeah. yes. So one time, um, the, the, the guest was Joe Pantoliano, and she uh, she didn't know who he was. But, but, uh, <laughs> oh, you <laughs> fucked it up. God oh, damn God. it, oh, motherfucker. See, you don't even have your own stories. You take other people's stories and fuck them up. Very good. 
I'll tell you the story, but <laughs> it's fucked up. But she, he serves she's like, Joe Pantaleone. She goes, this next guest, Joe Pantaleone, he's great. He was in risky business. And you, you all know, come on out, Joe Pantaleone. And as Joe Pantaleone was walking out, Roseanne said, I know that guy. Now, yeah, I it, fucked it yeah. Up. See, you already fucked it up. Yeah. So now when he told it the right way, I, that's my role. It didn't yeah. work. It didn't she, work because he knew that she didn't know. Don't right ask this. him to tell any more stories. <laughs> Damn, or jokes yeah. or anything. I was gonna tell you, he has another one about Jack Parr about the water closet. <laughs> You've got a I Jack do. Paw story. Because you know the kids love Jack Paw. <laughs> <laughs> then you were on Thick of the Night. This is years yes, later. Yes, yes. You remember that show? No. You're too young for that show? God damn. Oh, my God. Yeah, thick of the, the night? night? No, I've never seen it. Uh, you know Alan Thick. Yes, of course. Well, he had a talk show. Probably, was was he one of the shows like when it was Carson and just one other yes, guy? Yes, yes. Yeah. And and they, would, they were advertising when he was coming on that he was going to be the one to knock Carson yeah, off yeah. the air. <laughs> and, and, and he did. I mean, it was 20 years later. <laughs> and now he's even dead, Carson. So you see, he knocked his show off the air and killed him. He did. Yeah, it was uh, delayed. A Canadian yes. talk show, because I lived in Canada. Did yeah. you ever do that one before? I never did the Canadian one. Oh, so he didn't one. know you from that or anything no. like that. So he just, he was one of his cast of regulars or irregulars. Oh, on the Alan Yes, on the, Alan the resident oh, cast. Oh, remember yeah. who was else was uh, Bell, The Bells. The Bells. Oh, Richard Belzer. <laughs> Belzer? Richard the Belzer? The Bells. Oh, all right. For the hip people. And, I don't call. And it was one of those shows when a show's really bad, how it keeps changing. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. The writers get the, together. The Ottoman changes. So, yeah. Oh, yes. And, and I remember he had like a disc jockey. He had buttons that he would hit. Where oh yes, where things would happen. And and they they so somewhere along the way they decided, hey, it would be funny if Gilbert is the guy who lives in the catwalk. He never comes down from the. And so then it became like, oh, we gotta go visit Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> He's up there in the catwalk. If he Gilbert Gottfried, you do what he's gonna do next. He lives in the catwalk. And it was a horrible, horrible idea. You couldn't go anywhere with it. And he goes, hey, Gilbert, what are you doing up in the catwalk? And I'd have to try to ad lib something, and there's nothing uh, to ad lib because you're in a uh, catwalk. There's nothing to play sound, on. Doesn't it sound close to Chris Elliott's guy under the seat? Uh, yes, right. yes. <laughs> so it was you, the Bells, Denny Dillon? No, no, no she was. Who else was in the cat? I'm trying to remember that. There had to be a black guy. Uh, no, I. Uh, it. On that season, there wasn't a black guy. There was more than one season? But after, yeah, there was more than one season. They said I the, only lasted one season. Oh, they said the problem's Gilbert. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's wrong with this show. It's the Gilbert. Gilbert. Yeah. <laughs> so they He's went to what's a, holding so us back. They actually back. changed the cast. Yeah, the resident so, irregulars. They, yes, and then they, at one point they brought in as a sidekick Arsenio Hall. Wow. Yeah, exactly. That's what America said. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever hosted a program? Uh, no, I don't think uh, so. Because you know they have yeah. all those, like, after somebody fails, then they bring in. Oh, oh, yes. Like, yeah. You know Jimmy Brogan? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he told me, because uh, after Arsenio, they gave everybody He a has cut. funny stories that he told them. <laughs> <laughs> no Jimmy Brogan stories. Jimmy Brogan yes. will not swear. He won't curse. Yeah. So one time I saw him at the, uh, at the fucking Laugh Factory. Yeah. He was like, hello, everybody. How are you doing? So some guy's like, fuck you, Brogan. You suck my cock. He's like, very nice, sir. Very yeah. nice. Yeah, nice way to talk. Yeah, you talk <laughs> to your mother yeah, fuck you, I'll fuck you in the ass. <laughs> oh, very good, sir. Yes, well, uh, I suppose you went to uh, Ivy League, obviously. You know, like, <laughs> the, the guy was winning. The guy was winning. But anyways, who did you start out with? I don't even know where you came. <laughs> where Is that a good question? <laughs> it's not a question. No, what, it's what, an what, Adam question. You were in, uh, was it what? It's an Adam question. Yeah, they usually yeah. Adam asks those kind of yeah. questions. <laughs> Ask him, like, who he started with. So, who did you, um, I you start I smoked a cigarette with? to yeah. look like Tom Snyder. Oh, wow. That was the initial idea. I was supposed to look into the camera. 
Like Tom, remember Tom Snyder? Yes. Were you ever interviewed by Tom Snyder? Didn't he have a, uh, a cigarette and sometimes a cup of coffee, a cup of coffee too? Yeah. yeah. And smoke would billow around. And, the, and, and a hair, a helmet hair. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Very intimate, dark. And he would ask questions like this. Who did you, uh, what were some of the comics you started out with? Oh, wait a second. Uh, Tom Snyder, didn't he used to do that whole speech at the beginning? Yes, but his with mom? With the te teletini or something. Some early word for television. Oh, yes, the Fire color, up. color teeny. Fire up a color teeny. Color teeny. Yeah. <laughs> Fire up the color teeny. That's right. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's what it meant, television? I, I guess, guess it did. I have, yeah. You're right. I the thought color it was like a martini. The color teeny. Fire up the color teeny. I don't understand how that... It doesn't address your question. No, no. <laughs> you want to know I'm who? Trying to find out who this guy. Yeah, who, who he started, started with? Who's his, who his peers? Lot of yeah. People. And uh, what about that lady? Yeah, oh, she was Elaine, good too. Uh, uh, Boozler. Boozler. There yes. was two. There yes. was two ladies. Yeah. Do you know her? the second one? Uh, Marshall Warfield. She went out with a lot of comedians. Oh. She's now a lesbian. <laughs> Sandra Barnes? She, she may have been at the time. Sandra, Sandra Barnes? Carol Leifer is the answer. Oh. oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember her? Yes. And, and yeah, she yeah. she did announce she's a lesbian yes. now. Now, yeah. back then, how many ladies were there? Seriously, there was two, right? Elaine that, Boozler? Yeah. I mean, there Carol. were other, like, comedians that yeah. went uh, nowhere. Yeah, there were? Yeah. yeah for sure. Uh, yeah. Was uh, uh, Irma Bombeck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lois Brom Bromfeld? Oh, yes, yeah, she... How the fuck do you know her? Not, you know, I mean, I another lesbian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, most yeah. of them were. Yeah. I don't know. Valerie Bromfeld, was she on your year of Saturday Night Live? Lesbian. She's a lesbian. Yeah, Valerie Bromfeld. Now, did I do a show with Valerie uh, Bromfeld? Sure, yeah. I did a show. Check the IMBD. Yeah, yeah check did the a show. Fire up the color team. <laughs> with now, Valerie Bromfeld. I did a... TV, I did a pilot yeah. with Paul Reiser, and I, oh, and I think, I wonder if Carol, Carol Leifer. She was in was, it yeah. also. And, and, uh, yeah. Uh, so I think Valerie Bromfeld may have made a guest appearance in that, along with Craig T. Nelson, the wow. actor, Craig T. Nelson. Who was a Another comedian. stand-up comic, absolutely. Yeah, 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 he was, well, he was or in a, a team. Yeah, Craig T. Nelson was in a comedy team That's right. um, with Barry Levinson yeah. and... Uh, Slappy White. Uh, Slappy White, yeah. Scoey Mitchell. Scoey yeah, Mitchell. No. And, and uh, Rudy DeLuca, who became a writer <laughs> yeah. who worked on Mel Brooks movies. And these guys were all at a big troupe. Yes. Now, there was a troupe in New York City? I, I have no idea. Oh, oh, oh. I never. But oh, oh. at any rate, Barry yeah, Levinson was thing. making this, and yeah. I have no idea. He what was the making fuck. the TV show. Yes, he's a big deal. He was. Yes. Was he then or no? Yeah, yeah. He had already done Diner. Diner. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, thank diner, you. Yeah. So that's who he. I like how he <laughs> adds to it. I said he did Diner. <laughs> diner. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, yeah. yeah. I actually <laughs> like, like Diner. It's, it's a good movie. <laughs> It's like working Ooh, with Paul Reiser was in that as well. It's like Dustin Hoffman and Rain Man. Yeah, <laughs> diner, diner. Yeah, he worked on diner. He worked on diner. Uh, <laughs> yes. You know where this guy started? He used I to, give up. He used to work under the the uh, Queens Bridge. George Washington. Oh, yes. <laughs> I named the wrong bridge. No, Queensboro Bridge, and he uh, he jerk off punks for fifteen dollars a man. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I first met him. <laughs> um. Oh, but he's a good guy. I'm a, it doesn't Tempe matter what you are. I saw, yeah. hey. Yes, I'm sorry. I know you got into Twitter, but last night I got into a bit of a Twitter war yes. with my followers. <laughs> <laughs> followers, it ends up they all fucking hate your guts. But I maintain, yes. I watched this uh, Liberace movie. Okay. And uh, he's making out, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, plays him? Michael Douglas. Yes. For, first of all, has. Pussy cancer in yeah. his throat <laughs> is making out with Matt Damon. See, which I, isn't good. I think cancer is a small price to pay to lick Catherine Zeta Jones' <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I you would, would take that chance? Yeah, I would eat out her asshole for muscular dystrophy. <laughs> 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 
for the chance. Yes, for yes. the chance. <laughs> <laughs> now, in the muscular dystrophy telethon. Suck, I, yeah? would, I would suck her tits for lupus. <laughs> For the chance. Yeah, the chance. <laughs> <laughs> muscular dystrophy. Muscular dystrophy, Gilbert, remains uncured. Yes. Although every year since I was a child, uh, Jerry Lewis would uh, explain that it would be cured soon. Oh. If I kept phoning. There was there was an episode of of uh, the of the telethon. Where, you know, you always turn away when it goes to the local station. The local, station. yes. But I, I, I would gladly, I, I luckily stayed and watched. <laughs> and, and it was uh, Tony Orlando yes. was uh, hosting it. And, you know, Jerry Lewis would get the cute muscular dystrophy kids. <laughs> and so Tony Orlando's got <laughs> one like. And, and, and he goes, what's your name? <laughs> and 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 Tony Orlando goes, "Hey, want to sing a song with me?" And and it's I'm I'm going, "Oh no. No, tell me this isn't happening here." This guy goes, "Come on." And he he signals to the orchestra and they start Sorry, and, 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 yeah, and they start playing. Da 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 da. And Tony Atlanta goes, if there's something wrong in the neighborhood, who are you going to call? <laughs> if it's something bad and it ain't no good, who are you going to call? <laughs> <laughs> oh man we are all going to hell <laughs> oh, I, want to, I want to get back to your uh, Twitter yeah. feud okay. the followers why are they mad at you what happened oh the followers <laughs> no I just maintained that, that Liberace never was said he was gay and then yeah. in this movie, he's sucking cocks and stuff. And I don't think you should do that. And they got on mad HBO? at me. On the HBO movie, they present him as a secret gay guy. And yeah. we don't really know that for sure. Well, I mean. He, he was a pussy out. <laughs> Is that what you hear? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Much like Michael Douglas, apparently. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Michael Douglas was proud, like a proud, kind of insists that that's how he got it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Even though you can get it from cigarettes or drinking. You prefer? I prefer. I prefer people know. If I got it, I would prefer mm. that over. Cigarettes. I saw uh, the Celebrity Apprentice in the finale, and Penn Jillette had assembled all the famous people from Las Vegas, and it was like, here <laughs> is uh, Penn Jillette, and then here is Wayne Newton, and then here is uh, Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> How is he on the Mount Rushmore? Of, <laughs> do do you, you, yeah, do you have a yeah, week? Because well, he, he plays I, Brad I, Garrett's club I'm once known as Mr. Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you like to get on that program? That's one of my favorite shows. Oh, sure. I love why that not? fucking. I think you'd be great on Celebrity Apprentice. Yeah. Don't you? Well, I, I've already been on Rachel and Guy's Cook Off. Yeah. And Guy Fieri? Da, yes, yeah. yes. I was on that. Oh, you were on the wife swap. Uh, yes, and I was with Alan Thicke. I know, I didn't oh, see shit. it. Yeah, I, I got to fuck Alan Thicke for a while. <laughs> he goes, ooh, it's so good. Ooh, ooh, fuck me hoodie, fuck me hoodie. Ooh, that's so good. So you ooh, live with me, his family. Let me, let me. <laughs> I think that's Robin Thicke with Dara, isn't it? Don't you switch? His beautiful wife, Dara, is with us. Gilbert's. Right. But wait, you... Ooh, 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 let me, let me suck your dick so I can get leukemia. Oh. <laughs> They're doing a shot of Dara right now. <laughs> leukemia. <laughs> How did Alan think get into the leukemia bit? That's Michael Douglas. Because that's if you suck cock. Oh, but you you get so yeah, that was Michael Douglas. Yes. Wait, what? I don't want to hear oh, about Eric. What? Yes. <laughs> Eric Douglas. Is he still around oh, doing stand-up? No. 
No, because when he I was, was trying to be a comedian a for a while. <laughs> yeah. So one time I was at the com, at the and, yeah. at the improv. He works at the World Famous. Why don't you tell him the story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll tell it to Gilbert. Yeah. At the improv, yeah. he gets mad because at the World Comedy. Okay. So he was at. He was like, he looks, a, and then Bud would come up. He always, he'd have to introduce Eric Douglas, you know, and he, because it was, yeah. Uh, and he <laughs> kept mentioning my, uh, Kirk Douglas. <laughs> so then he goes up. So anyways, one time he was at the back of the st- uh, at the back of the improv writing in a book, and there was some little Jewish guy talking about how his cock was small on stage, and he looks at me, Eric Douglas, he's like, this guy's saying his cock's small. <laughs> I was like, I was like, he's being self-deprecating. He's like, so he writes down self-deprecating. He's like, what? Oh my yeah. God. He's like, what is that? I mean, you know, he's, just, he's making that? fun of himself and he writes self-deprecating. Anyways, I see him a couple weeks ago. He's talking about how small his cock. Meanwhile, he's real handsome, you know. He can't get girls. His cock's small. And everybody's like, we don't. Anyway, he's dead now. Oh, yes. Because his cock was joke. so small. He actually was outlived by both Kirk Douglas and Michael Douglas. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Eric Douglas. I was going to get him a man grade. And he uh, wanted to, uh, he, I think he was in trouble for trying to uh, sexually assault a male flight attendant. Once. Jesus. That's all I know about Eric Douglas. What do he, you know about he him? Was, uh, he was trying to uh, male flight attendant. It was all uh, you know, just hearsay. Because much like Oliver Rachi, <laughs> yeah, he, he was. <laughs> hearsay. They have Eric Douglas show up in the Liberace movie. Wait, how do you know Eric yeah. Douglas? Well? Yeah. Yes, you know him good. He wanted well, to be a comic. Yeah, yeah. That's how I know him. And I know he'd pop up in the news, like, yeah. passing out on drugs. Yeah, he was a tough guy. We tried to book uh, uh, on this program Jim. Robert Blake, who uh, Daniel fucked up. <laughs> fucked up. We could have uh, had him. This wait, close. Wow, this what close. happened? Daniel talked. First of all. Uh, Robert Blake doesn't like guys in suits. <laughs> and Daniel talked to him for an hour. Hey, we all have that problem. <laughs> I end, know when I see a guy in a suit, I start running. No, not a guy in a suit, a suit. Like, you know, a suit. A suit? Like, that means an executive. Oh. Like, he doesn't like that. that was. Oh, oh, I see. So he, and then what did Daniel say at the end of the interview? I'd love to say in chat, but I got to go have dinner with my wife. At, at Vitello. No, but I but yeah, not as a no, yeah, not as a joke. <laughs> like I don't know if he meant it. As a, like I don't think he meant. This is a great uh, story. So far. <laughs> the other guy we yeah. tried to get was Jan Michael Vincent, uh, and, and and then he's like, no, he's dead. Well, it turns out <laughs> he's not dead. It turns out he's not dead. He's a loyal watcher of the show. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's somewhere in between. <laughs> yeah. He's not dead. He's alive, but you remember that fucker, how handsome he was? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, uh, one quote I remember of Jan Michael Vincent is that he said, had he died, like whenever this article was, he said, had I died 20 years ago, I could have been remembered like James Dean. Oh, yeah. And he would have been because he was this yeah, yeah. really handsome guy with promise. Yeah. So had he died then. He would have it, been yeah. John Eric Hexum. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Who, oh, is he alias Smith? No, Peter Duell was alias Smith. I don't Smith know. Did he John. die young? No, uh, oh. Peter Duell uh, killed himself. He did? Yeah, he was alias Smith and Jones. A guy you worked with killed himself, stabbed himself in the snow of Connecticut. Yes, John. Charles, Charles Rocket. Yeah, did that shock you? Yeah, that was. Or was that expected? Yeah, that? no, no. See, I'm always the last person to realize. Yeah. But that was an odd suicide. Most people. Yeah, I don't think anyone would ever expect someone to, to stab himself repeatedly. Like, if you were to yeah. choose a suicide, you'd mull it oh, over. Oh, that, yeah. That you you was, would not naked in the snow? No, no. no. That, that was one. That's a guy, number one, really does want to kill himself. Yeah, yeah. And wants to kill himself in the most painful way yeah. possible. Jesus. It's not like, you to know. Me it's you, almost like a mental problem. <laughs> <laughs> or he has issues. Well, it's Almost like, like. like Owen Wilson. They said, what cut happened? his wrist. Yeah. And Two months later, he's back in the yeah, films. He's walking in Hawaii with some model afterwards. And, uh. and they zoom in for a close-up in the tabloids. And maybe you could see, like, <laughs> kind of like, a, it looks like a pimple. Oh. And, and you go, well, or it could be, could have been a fold in the skin. And you go, <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's. Would you commit yeah. suicide by After Catherine this show, Zayden? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I would, if I wanted to kill myself, <laughs> I'd eat Catherine Zeta-Jones' twat. Yeah. And I so- sunk. <laughs> Goodbye, Clark. 
Get him world. out! <laughs> <laughs> and they're trying to get you out with a... <laughs> the jaws of the life. jaws of life? <laughs> <laughs> At the jaws of water. Are we going to commercial? Daniel says we're going to yeah, commercial. We, uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta take a break. We'll be back with the ever funny Adam Egan. <laughs> First of all, I'm, I'm told by uh, Nick Swartzen that he's he's come up with a new impression for his act, known for his impressions. Uh, what is it again? This is uh, Mr. Frilly talking to the 20 year old girl he just woke up next to. Or no, he's in the middle of sex with her. Uh-huh. I'm coming in your butt! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But listen, man. Hey, <laughs> your mouth is my toilet! <laughs> <laughs> No, I did, wait, what about the man grate? <laughs> is that like a genital cleanser? No! No, my God! <laughs> it is 100% made in America. <laughs> Cast iron grilling grates. It's revolutionizing the way people grill. Jesus. What? I thought it was like a, all right. You want to hear what it has? Yeah. It has heavy duty grilling grates. <laughs> <laughs> Deliver exactly what you need to achieve that perfect steakhouse flavor. Chicken, steak, has never tasted so good. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That was our only sponsor. Oh, yeah, and you lost. Yeah, now we found out we lost Mangrate as a sponsor. (laughs) And then earlier today, I think we were told legally we can't say we lost them as a sponsor even. Yeah, I think we were still waiting to find out if we were allowed to say that. But anyways, oh, that it. was Who cares? We lost them. That was Nick Schwartz and that fucked it all up. <laughs> well, I mean, the first one, I'm, I'm in tears like, laughing. Yeah, I'm like not bringing, I'm not well, bringing up but... the fucking tsunamis. <laughs> <laughs> no, but how much money did you lose on that? <laughs> a lot more than we lost with the man grade. The Aflac duck. Yes. Did you lose a lot of money? Uh, no, in future, no. It, was, it was $5 a commercial. <laughs> That's more than we got for the man. Oh, I, I bet that was a lot of fucking money. Because it was set, right? You didn't have, would you go in and just do a whole year's and one? No, no, they'd have me come in each time to yeah. do new ones. Oh, they would. But And then they wound up uh, firing me, getting a new guy to imitate my voice yeah. for less money, thus bringing closure to a horrible tragedy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, one time I did. You know the you ever hear the Doctor Doolittle movie? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was in that. You were yeah, in the it. first one. Yeah, what were you a crow? <laughs> Something. I was the dog who uh, had the uh, obsessive compulsive dog. Oh, I was so a I, dog also. So we may have done a scene. Oh together. yes, yes, I was yes. Also a dog. You, yes, you were the dog talking yeah. to the, ty- the yeah. lion. And they called me and said Eddie wants you to do this movie, and then I never got to meet Eddie. Uh, no, I I didn't meet I got, him during I, that I met either. Betty Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do a line, and she goes, "This is not that funny." And I'd have to think all night trying to think of a funnier line. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> the point was, I was going to say, I did all nine Doctor Doom movies <laughs> because they said otherwise we'll just get a sound alike. And I was like, "Oh, I don't want that guy." Oh to make yeah, money. yeah. And, you know, so I did it. <laughs> but you, they they got uh, a sound. Eddie ball. Murphy. Yeah. yeah. Put you in big movies. Well, in one. Yeah, Beverly Hills Beverly Cop. Beverly Hills Cop 2. Probably his biggest movie. Yeah, where we ad-libbed the whole scene. That was the, and people still come up to me and go, I've got something I'm in sure. this hand, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because movies, people remember you like, do people, because I did one time, I did a thing on Family Guy, everybody knows me from that one fucking little thing. So does that ever happen to you? I, well, I did... uh, Like a surprising thing? Yeah. uh, Aladdin. Yeah, Aladdin. That was a surprise. Boy, who would think a a Disney film would be big? (laughs) Who would think it from uh, Aladdin, which nobody (laughs) saw, and didn't play outside of (laughs) New York? I mean, it's it's no... Uh, Hey, it was such... It was such a... Shudini. It was such... I meant to say Shudini. Shudini. It's no Ford Fairlane. Where is he? Shudini? Yes. Uh, no, I haven't. Do we have a copy of that God commercial? damn, I wish we could. We're going to get one. in it. Brent's going to show... get a copy of Shudini. And what was they, it? Well, was it great? Oh, wait, yeah, it was like a fake infomercial, right? Yeah, or was no, it, it was real. real. Oh, it my was God, real. It was real. And, and it's like, 
You what know was I, the catchphrase, though? It's like a shoehorn. On a lo- stick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that was real. <laughs> and, and you know how every infomercial has, like, the beginning that shows the way you're doing it yeah. now yeah. is dangerous <laughs> you're an idiot. and yeah. bad. Yeah. They would have these old people trying to put their shoes on and off and falling down yeah. dead, you know, like, ah, they, they, a look of terror and then falling to, and, you know, you, you go, oh, how many pe- old people die from putting their shoes on? And, uh, you, and, you know, some people, uh, if you're cynical, you might go, well, why don't they sit in a chair yeah, when they put right. their shoes on? But it's just, you're old and you don't think of that. What about the time when the old product works, like can of Corey Apple? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> What, an apple core? I'm the chef for the future. <laughs> chef for the future. <laughs> chef for the future. Ha, ha. <laughs> what have you brought with you, chef of the future? <laughs> Who pray tell is this? <laughs> Can kind a of Corey Apple chef of the future? <laughs> What about the, the yes. third incarnation of Lucille Ball's career, her final show? Oh, my God, the best. That was, what was, was that one so called? 75. Life with Lucy? Life with Lucy. Yeah, that's where she was like 90. And, and still they'd have her on top wacky. of a ladder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's still a wacky girl, and she's 90, so it's really sad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, I grew up on the second one where she was, she seemed like a drunk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Miss, where she was Mrs. Mrs. McGillicott. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is Mr. With, Mooney. Yeah, yeah, Gail yeah, yeah. Gordon. Yeah. And, and she'd remind you of your, like, drunk aunt, like Joy Behar. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Joy Behar reminds me of an older person in my family that's funny around the table. <laughs> they're virtually what she huh? is. Yeah. <laughs> they're getting, they're losing a couple of people from The View, though. Man. <laughs> I think I think they're losing Elizabeth Hasselbeck and Joy Behar. No, Elizabeth Hasselbeck. There was a rumor. Oh, there was just a rumor. Yeah, yeah. That was that well, was. Thank ur- God. That okay. was urban legend. <laughs> <laughs> you checked Snopes on that. We're gonna get. A, I think we're getting a clip of Shudini, right? Oh. No. Oh, yeah, Shudini. Oh well, no, we don't have to do it in real time. We can just. Well, I want to see it. <laughs> oh, that's retarded. Oh well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's not good. No, oh, no. this is the one where I do the voiceover. We have it without audio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. We have a Popeye cartoon, but you can't hear him. <laughs> We've got a Frank Sinatra record that we could show on camera. <laughs> what are we going to show it for? Yeah, we don't have to show no it. No audio, just a bunch of pianos yeah, falling on old people so, trying to use a regular shoehorn. Who was the, when you started, the, that was when there was comedians and singers? Yes. Together? Yeah. Like Kay Ballard would come up, or not, what's her name? Pat Benatar. Florence Henderson. Florence Henderson yeah. would say. <laughs> Sandler and Young. <laughs> you don't know. No. Sandler and Young. Uh-huh. They were a team. It's uh, like <laughs> this uh, American yeah, guy, man. like Big yeah. Joe, and then a uh, French guy. Yeah. And it's like they used to sing like, Oh, when the saints come marching in. They were huge. In, <laughs> the healthy, same <laughs> They would be. They would, that's huge. Yeah, they, no, were, they, were, they were big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's ridiculous. You know, now when you look, as a kid, I used to watch acts like that and go, "Oh, well, they must be good because they're on they're television." They're on the TV. Oh, right. Yeah, and I'm a kid. I just don't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I used to think that. I used to think that about Saturday Night Live in the first years. I go, Must. the ones that sketches that didn't work. I go, I guess they're avant garde. Oh something. yeah. <laughs> Bending <laughs> over. And I'm I like, regular shoe hogs. Shudini has a patented Shoudini? grip clip yeah, that holds your shoe you in place. Yes. We've already explained it. It's almost like after an Adam Eagle. Bending over to put your shoes on is a backbreaking chore. One wrong step, you could end up there on the floor. Is. And trying to get them off can hurt <laughs> even 
Shoehorn. Well, now they See? shoot Dini, <laughs> the world's first shoehorn. And let you to get your shoes, shoes on and off with ease. Shootini <laughs> has a telescoping handle that gives you the reach you need so you can slip your shoes on <laughs> without bending over. And unlike regular shoehorns, <laughs> Shootini <laughs> has a patented <laughs> grip clip that holds your shoe in object. place while you take it off. Just slide it in and slip them off. Shootini works with yeah, all see, your shoes. You can even see, use them on got a couch, right And just her, she look sit how on easy it. it is to put on and take off dress shoes, <laughs> even when they're laced up. No more wrinkled clothes trying to get your shoes on. <laughs> no more scuffing and damaging your shoes trying to get them off. <laughs> Shootini is perfect for anyone with arthritis or back pain, especially those with limited mobility. Plus, the grip clip lets you pick up your shoes sure off the floor like without bending over. So stop bending and struggling oh. with your shoes every day <laughs> and get them fall. on and off the <laughs> easy way. Get Shudini right this second. Come on, that. please. It's not just a shoe and, horn. And look it's at that. a shoe That's like horn a on a look stick. When she so pulls call the now thing and out. get your Shudini for just $14.99. You'll also receive our shoe renewer, the one patch clear coat refinisher that works on any color. your shoes looking fresh and new. Plus, it's great for restoring handbags too. Yes, a fifteen dollar right value now, free. A call right now and we'll double the offer. How Don't much pay is shipping. Like that That's pay? right. You get two shoeinis and two shoe renewers yeah, for national? only fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, it was. Well, it has that. It has that hook. The hot hike. Yeah. Yeah. But seriously, what does something like that pay? Oh, uh, that that wasn't bad. Yeah. Do you get paid like for yeah. voice stuff and shit? Because I always go. No, like, I, I do it for no, no, charity. A lot though. Yeah. Because I say to my agent, I got a weird voice. Everybody's always like making fun of it, and people yeah. come up to me and go, "Hey, here's my impression of you." Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I go, if I'm gonna be made fun of. Hey, lady. Yeah. yeah. Lady. yeah. Oh, then why don't I, why can't I do voice work, which seems very easy to me, like it would be easy. Oh yeah. Because you just you know you don't have to move your hands yeah. and you know gesture. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, that's the worst part about acting yeah, is gotta, the gestures. It is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucking seriously, I went in this movie. I don't know how to act. So I heard less is more. I'm like, this is great. Yeah. I won't do anything. <laughs> and the guy did not care for it at all. <laughs> I thought like, by doing almost nothing that he would, in my stillness, see something. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. No. Uh. <laughs> San Sanford Meisner. You ever hear that fucker? No. Oh yes. Yeah, he was my teacher. He was? No, but his teacher, oh. my teacher, had. Oh, was oh. this the one you took with Stevie? Yeah. Oh. I, was it? Well, he did this thing. Me and Stevie Ray Fromstein. Yeah. <laughs> And we were he's too, big. He's, yeah, he's very good. At, yeah. What's his uh, thing Sanford now? Meisner. The uh... He's the holy atheist. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so he goes on, half his act, his first act, half his act is how there's no God. The second half of his act is how uh, brutal, um, what is it called? Circumcision is. <laughs> yeah, that's it. yeah, it's all about circumcision. <laughs> and the audience is very... Yeah. <laughs> the first half is okay, because it's very in vogue, the God thing. But the uh, <laughs> circumcision... And, they start losing people. Yeah, people are like, oh... <laughs> And anyway, he's very graphic. With he's it. very graphic. He talks about how uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I'm talking <laughs> no, no. About the, the acting class that you took with uh, Stevie. I don't like when he tells me to tell a story. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Then it's not a you good story. You mentioned the guy. You tell him a fucking story. No, that doesn't go well. <laughs> tell him your best story. My best story was was the Steve. You just fucking told it. No, have you happened to you? He's a comedian. No, um, he was not. You the Tempe Improv. Uh, okay, you know, you know I think so. I worked a few improv. Yeah, Tempe, the big yeah. theater. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, I used to yes, up yes, there. yes, yes. Yeah. I have. You I were have. also a stand-up there. No, you do. You told me you did stand-up. Well, I did. I mean, you know, for like three or four months. What was your joke? Uh, you had one joke. Uh, you no, know, it was, it was so ridiculous. It what? was stupid. What was it? Oh God, man! No, uh, it was something it. like, uh, "Don't don't take a, a shot from a girl at a bar because it always it looks ridiculous. It's never good. It's." I, I think the punchline was, is this, a, is this a Care Bear cum shot or something? It was, it was really ridiculous. I, I don't remember it. It was so long ago. But that was the gist of it, and that's why I don't do stand-up anymore. You should open with it. Yeah. yeah. I should open and close with it. 
He can't even tell his own joke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, again, again, I, I, I tried it maybe like uh, less than a dozen times. Who? I did it maybe seven or eight times I did stand-up. And it was, says, it was years ago. Don't take a shot at a girl at a bar. <laughs> um, I think it has to do with the Care Bears. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was like, the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's... Point. Look at what Daniel's doing. Oh, we have to. We have to um, take one oh, more we'll break be back and then we yeah. do with jokes. Prepared yeah. jokes. Yeah, with yeah, with actual jokes. Subscribe to Norm Burger King. We're back <coughs> with Norm McDonald live. <laughs> so this uh, Gilbert Gottfried. Yes. Do you want to plug anything? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. My website's GilbertGottfried <laughs> Oh, and the great, you can get the great book there. Yeah, the uh, you can get an autograph, Rubber Balls and Liquor, on <laughs> GilbertGottfried.com, and you can get my Dirty Joke DVD. Yeah, that's a great DVD. And my Twitter account, if you weren't born in Tokyo. At Gilbert Godfrey. At Real Gilbert. Or at yes. Real Gilbert. Yes. So I just type in his name. Just at right? Real Gilbert, yeah, and my yeah. website's GilbertGottfried.com. Excellent. That I got from someone in Thailand. <laughs> I did. You did? I, I, I had to buy my name. Oh, really? Because yeah. they, they just buy everybody's name? Oh, yeah, hoping yeah. Oh, uh, fuck. That's fucked up. How much does that cost? That, well, that was a uh, double insult. Number one, uh, I had to buy my own name and how cheap I got it for. Like, <laughs> he said, uh, okay, yeah, for that price, we could throw in a yakoshmirnoff.com also. I mean, Yakov's back on the scene. Yeah, he, he is. is. He is. Yeah, he <laughs> told me. Why yeah. that country? <laughs> he still can't get over this country. It's yeah. weird, because he's been here forever now. <laughs> Fucking Branson, right? In America, you drink water. In Russia, the water drink you. <laughs> what a country. In America, you put on jacket. In Russia, jacket puts on you. What a country. It's uncanny, that's it, for an hour. In America, yeah. you brush your teeth. In Russia, the teeth brush. You. <laughs> what a country. He had a television show. You were not on that show. No. no. But <laughs> in America, yeah. you go on TV. In Russia, TV goes on you. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's yeah, that's, 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 that's like yeah. <laughs> Now we're going to, this is the section where we do jokes. Yeah. And you don't have to think of them. They're written For on the blue cards. For the first time in the show. <laughs> yeah, the first time in the show. <laughs> we do jokes. We stop our, uh, our yeah, Mark Maron-like grilling of your <laughs> personal life. <laughs> do you, Mark Maron? I don't have I a Mark Maron. Mark Maron gets it a lot. Like oh, anything oh, you yes. say. I get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Were you jealous of him? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's a joke. This oh, seems okay. like a Gilbert Godfrey joke. Okay. <laughs> Today is the 11th birthday of President Obama's youngest daughter, Sasha, or as I like to call her, the uppity one. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus I'm Christ. I'm a regular Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're now into those hazy, crazy... Lazy days of summer. We should have done this later because we're not really. But now, Gilbert, we're into those hazy, crazy, lazy days of summer. Yeah. Especially those of us who are over-medicated schizophrenics who live near smoky industrial parks. That's kind of like a Care Bear joke. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you know how T for two goes? <laughs> yes. All right, here's one for you. <laughs> Here, you read this joke while he's putting his glasses. What the hell was that? <laughs> what? Um, I, I think there's some trouble over at Craigslist. I went on there this morning and I saw an ad. Someone to kill Craig's wife. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. You know that sweet old song, T for Two? Certainly. Why, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody near us to see us or hear us. I think those people wanted to get down to some serious fucking. Oh my goodness. Wow. There it is. You didn't see that one coming. <laughs> uh, here, I think the reason I I think the reason I most look forward to China ruling the earth is that all of their last names sound like slang 
for cock. <laughs> All right. All right, tell your joke. Uh, astronomers have discovered three new planets that have an atmosphere conducive to human life, and they've discovered one that has an atmo conducive to hipster life. Uh, whatever. I like that one. Oh, this one, it sounds like Gil a oh. Gilbert joke, because it's straight, it's ripped from today's headline. <laughs> You know the story about Sergio Garcia and Tiger Woods? Don't I? All right, then this joke, <laughs> this joke will be perfect. <laughs> it's a little what, on, the, it's on what, the longish side. What was I living in a cave? <laughs> the Gulf War between the Gulf War. Yeah. No, no, the, the Gulf, Gulf. The Gulf War. <laughs> the, the Gulf War ended 18 years ago. There's nothing to do with Kuwait. What? But it's still, it's still the lives lost. That's why it's important to me, that Gulf War. <laughs> Could we put a U there so it looked like it is the Gulf War? <laughs> okay, this is the, gu the Gulf War. It's the a Gulf, Gulf War. Sure, Gulf sure. War. The, the, I agree the with you. The Gulf War. Yes, I agree mm. with you. When you first, the, at first glance. <laughs> But there's been a See, golf war. Because, you know, when you think of Tiger Woods, yeah, you no. think of, uh, like, how he Foil. risked his life <laughs> in the golf war. Yeah. He was a war hero. He was? He was yeah, the D-Day invasion yeah. on the golf. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that. Uh, yes. <laughs> Only half. Oh, oh, well. Okay. Wait, I think I may have broken the, the joke, the, though. Wait, the, wait, so I don't have to do it? No, you don't have to. Okay. You're going to do that one. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, one's more of a, this one's more of a comment, really. Michael Douglas portrayed the flamboyant entertainer Liberace in the new HBO film Behind the Candelabra. I'd like to say something to Michael Douglas. I sang with Liberace. I knew Liberace. Liberace was a friend of mine. Michael Douglas, you're no Liberace. Uh, I'm sorry. See, I, Here, I'll give you another. I think I think Jay Leno could, could do that in his. It was but what do you make of the, what do you, you know, uh, you what do you make of the late night wars? <laughs> I'm very upset. <laughs> what would you do if Seth called you over to the couch? Oh, that would be exciting. <laughs> okay. I'm, next week I'll be doing uh, Woody Woodbury's uh, talk. <laughs> uh, Woody Woodbury. Listen, yeah. we're going to do Look right now. Look that one up. Look that one up. That's a really obscure. We're going to do. It is very obscure. Yeah. We're going to show. The yeah. idea of the show was that I'd become an important. Oh, meme. there's there's an idea to there's this. Theme show. To, there's okay. a theme to every show. <laughs> and I I've looked up on the internet some important comedians that talk about jingoism. And I will die now. But anyways, I would like you to see this. I would like you to see this, especially you, and to learn that. I it's looked not up. All, I will die now. Yeah. It's not all about Henny Youngman. <laughs> Although you know, it's this is what I was thinking. Yeah. Henny Youngman says, "Take my wife, please." It's a three-word setup and a one-word punchline. Yes. Isn't that incredible? It is. Okay, so let's watch what I found on the internet. <laughs> this is the new comedy. We're gonna play it. It's a strange world. I don't know what we choose. Why we choose the things we do as a collective. You ever wonder that? You know what I mean? The fact that we live in a world where John Lennon was murdered, yet Millie Vanilli walks the fucking planet, you know? Bad choice. Just from me to you. Wasn't a good one. But isn't that weird? We always kill the guys who try and help us. Isn't that strange? And we let the little demons run amok. Always. John Lennon, murdered. John Kennedy, murdered. Martin Luther King, murdered. Gandhi, murdered. Jesus, murdered. Reagan, wounded. You know. <laughs> Bad fucking choice. But even though that's the case where we live in a world where good men are murdered and little demons run amok, I'm sorry, I still believe in it. And in fact, I had a vision of a way we could have no enemies ever again, if you're interested in this. Anybody interested in hearing this? 
That's kind of an interesting theory, and all we have to do is make one decisive act, and we can rid the world of all our enemies at once. Here's what we do. You know all that money we spend on nuclear weapons and defense every year? Trillions of dollars. Instead, if we spent that money feeding and clothing the poor of the world, which it would pay for many times over, not one human being excluded, not one, we could as one race explore outer space together in peace forever. Thank you very much. You're great. He got murdered. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't get murdered. He got oh. murdered by those fuckers. I knew he was dead. I didn't know that was the way. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's not what happened. And you know who I uh, blame? <laughs> In a way, you can't help but blame those people that... Uh, the I starving children the lobby. The, well, yeah, I didn't yeah. want to say it. <laughs> I didn't want to say it in that pithy way. I blame the Jews. <laughs> I didn't want for to murder. I didn't want to say it right out. That that <laughs> wonderful man was killed by the Jews. <laughs> now you feel that was because the Jews <laughs> are against starving children, against space They've always exploration. been against. I'll tell you one thing about the Jews. Yes. They've always been against those starving children. <laughs> I've seen Jewish gangs yeah. beat up starving children. Oh my goodness. Who try gracious. to move into their neighborhood. Now Adam Egot, you know Adam Egot, right? No. He tells me <laughs> he tells me this big story about how the uh, pictures from the planes on Dachau and stuff yeah. <laughs> don't show enough. Uh, uh, the chimney is not long enough. It doesn't cast a long shadow enough to have possibly been big enough to service the what? <laughs> killing machine of Hitler. That's what he told me. <laughs> I've been saying that for years. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you finally had someone to agree with you. And he said, how could the cyanide, why would the guards not all be dead from pulling open right. the doors? I go, I don't know. I don't have every answer. But anyways, this man was murdered. That's yeah, the important yeah. thing. And for saying what? That Reagan should be murdered? <laughs> that was a great joke. We have another joke, Brent. We have What's another great comedian. joke. Brent, are you? Oh, look at this. Now the thesaurus okay. the, uh, is uh, other words for cluster would be clump, mass, group, body, crowd, which brings me to Gustave Le Bon and his famous treatise on mob mentality called the crowd. Whenever you're in a crowd, unfortunately, the IQ of the crowd tends to sink to the lowest common denominator, <laughs> and that's where you get mob violence or the unexamined narcissism of nationalism and jingoism and sports enthusiasm and uh, things of that nature. That to me is a clusterfuck because you can get stuck in that and, and you uh, would like to have a more I-thou relationship with the world instead of the I-it clusterfuck of, of uh, the crowd. She was shot after saying she's dead now. She was shot? Yeah, she was shot after doing the clusterfuck. She was the clusterfuck? Because she told the truth about clusterfuck. She told the truth fuck. about the famous Gustave Lebron. It's not Lebron. Something like that. But his theory. Okay, listen, this is what we have to do. I'm really, really decrying this bit now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, yeah, I, but this is how the bit reads. <laughs> that I now, this man was murdered. Yes. I'm starting to do important comedy. Uh -huh. So I'm going to take it one step further. Tell me more. <laughs> I am going to say. I'll be the Fred Allen here. <laughs> my, my, tell me more. I am willing now. My, it's Senator Clayhorn. <laughs> Remember Senator Clayhorn? Well, Fred, I say no. Fred. <laughs> Senator Clayhorn, you probably... Ellen Clayhorn? Well, it was like, no, it was like Fro Froghorn Leghorn. It was oh, based sure, on Senator Clayhorn. Okay. An old character. Well, uh, you see there, Fred? Ah, yes, Senator Clayhorn. A, a highly racist senator. <laughs> oh, got it. <laughs> that later became a cartoon rooster. Okay. We are now uh, going... I am going to kill myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like a monk. I've been waiting for you to say that for years now. <laughs> yeah, you want to? You really want to do yeah, that? Yeah, because of the war and Co Coney and everything. The war and Coney? No, Coney, the fucking armed children. <laughs> the 
the starving this children the, the, versus you know what, the Jews. Do you know what happened yeah. with Coney, the killer in Africa? They made a movie about him. Yeah. The guy who made the movie about him ended up whacking off in public. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so all support for killing Coney vanished because you had to say you were on this guy's side. So the movie maker, so anyways. Oh God. Al you were Alfred Hitchcock yeah. used to jerk off in person, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wait, Was what? that in the movie? Sit, he would, no, he'd just oh. sit out in the park and jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> I did Cecil V. DeMille. <laughs> Martin Scorsese, I saw whacking off in front of the <laughs> It seems, it seems like uh, Cecil B. DeMille played himself in a movie. Yes, yes. You know that? No. <laughs> he doesn't know anything before his time. Like you'll go, Abraham Lincoln. He goes, well, how old do you think I am? <laughs> like he's so trapped in his own. Okay. No, he. I know anyway, Cecil B. DeMille. I, gotta kill I, my, I have to kill myself. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do that? No. Could you hurry uh, up? I know. <laughs> I don't want to get wet that. though. But I have this can. Some gasoline. It's actually full of water. There's no way you could be any less committed. Oh, to see, doing see, you, you've just, you just killed the tension. I know. In I'm gonna, a bit. But I'm gonna, everyone uh, really thought. You remember those monks back in the old days? Yes. Like in Vietnam. He no. doesn't remember yeah. them. <laughs> they're before his. Okay, All so right. Monks, that's just monks are before his time. Yeah. He's like he thinks monk is like Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> okay. So, I think people get the idea. Do you think people get the gotta, idea yet? Uh, no, you don't no, I think, I think you're... You don't, you don't want to get shocked, Norman. Oh, my mic. You're actually going to kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kill myself now. What, just pull it? <laughs> Come on, Gilbert, you got to... Yes, yeah, what am I supposed Gilbert to Gilbert and I both got fired from Saturday Night Live. I think it's pretty clear now why. <laughs> I can play along, right? Look, this is my mic. I'm using it as a mic. Okay. I was fired from Think of the Night, too. That's, that's when you really, you know, when you hit rock bottom. Not good enough for Think of the Night. I'm now going to douse yeah. myself in gasoline. Oh, Is it coming out? No. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. Now, do you have a lighter, Adamiga? Yeah, I got a lighter. Okay, do you have a line, Gilbert? <laughs> no, no, I, I, I pretty much give up. No, Gilbert, what was to... the line? You told me. Line, yeah. You told me before me the show it? what the line was. Gil Tell me what the line is. I'll say it. Gilbert, you need to say no, Norm. Not yet. So important. Yeah. Okay. Okay, wait, not yet. Okay, okay. Line? pour yes. more water on yourself. All right. <laughs> God damn it all. Okay, okay, I'm so There's no way this would light. You need more gasoline. No, uh, I forgot my line. Okay, just light it. Go, oh. go ahead. Pour Brent. some more water on. <laughs> Brent, come Gilbert on, man. Say no. He's too light me. There's clearly not enough gasoline. Light it, though. Seriously. No! Uh, I fucked up the line again. Pour more water on you. Son. Come on, Brent. I come mean, on. gasoline. <laughs> Too important, Gilbert. I mean, <laughs> say no, Norm. He's too important. Gilbert, oh, Gilbert Jesus. Gilbert Jesus. I think this is what. <laughs> Gilbert Jesus. Everyone free. Holy gasoline! Will this be Norm's last laugh? Will the dynamic duo go up in smoke? Who will eat this plate of sandwiches? Tune in next week for the shocking answers. Same bat time, same bat channel. One hint, the most horrendous is yet to come. If you enjoyed the show tonight, why not tell a friend, huh? Make sure to subscribe below on youtube.com forward slash Norm MacDonald. Subscribe to Norm Burger King. Light me on fire. Okie dokie. Do I have a line? It's not. It's not. <laughs> you don't need a Gilbert. Yes. Uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Put my hood up? Yeah. It's not lighting. <laughs> I just heard from Daniel there's trouble with the <laughs> Kathy Griffin booking. <laughs> 
<laughs> reason to live. We got to get this straightened out. <laughs> Is that what those words ever been said in any <laughs> talk show? We're having trouble with the Kathy Griffin booking. <laughs> Okay, I can't take this off because then my hairy belly will show. <laughs> okay, guys, seriously. You guys continue this bit. <laughs> what bit? I'm just going to change for a second. Adam, you get interview. Interview uh, Gilbert. Gilbert, I, I was wondering about some of the yes. comics that you started <laughs> out with. <laughs> What are you up to now? I, I was talking to Jeff Ross a couple nights uh-huh. ago, and he said that you might be, you guys are working on a, a potential reality show? Maybe. That uh, would be know. endlessly watchable. Yeah. What, what, what's behind that? What's the deal with what? that? It's some show. It's just some yeah. show. <laughs> What was a favorite? What was what was your favorite part of your career so far? Uh, not not this show. Not this show. Yeah, this is. <laughs> When I was a kid, I uh, I watched Ford Fairlane like maybe about twelve times in a row. That was my first taste of Gilbert, and I don't know. I think you've just gotten you you've aged like a fine wine. <laughs> comedy, strictly comedy only. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm no Tom Snyder. Or Woody Woodbury. <laughs> Who's Woody Woodbury? Yeah, you'll have I don't to know. look it up. Well. Fill me in. No. All right. Uh, he was big. Woody Woodbury was big. Yeah. How big? Like, what did he do? Not big at all. <laughs> was he just? Was he a local he, guy? He he was he was in I. I remember him being in a movie with Ellen uh, Ellen Burstyn. Okay, I when know. She Ellen wasn't Burstyn. known. Oh, so when this is she a long, was like long time really ago. young. Okay, this is a Some long time ago. Bad comedy with Ellen Burst. Jesus. Now. And Jesus. And Jesus yeah, was there. Jesus so this was a real was long in time it. ago. Uh, can you can you um, tell me about the roast and how uh, specifically when, when you got into your uh, the aristocrat bit? And what, because apparently it was something about, and I was like, right after 9-11, right? Uh, yeah, it was It was about a week after September 11th. Mm-hmm. This was September 11th, 1968, so I don't know what the big deal was. But, uh, no, it was uh, uh, after September 11th, and it was in New York, to make it worse. Right. And... Uh, and it's like there was that weird feeling all over the city. And then uh, I went up and I said, well, I have to I can't stay late tonight. I have to catch a flight to L.A. I couldn't get a direct flight. We have to make a stop at the Empire State <laughs> Building. Oh, you're back. Oh, now, you now, I'm a little confused now. Where'd you get the sandwich? What? Are you going to set yourself on fire again? Oh, come on, man. We don't have to dwell on it. No, no, no. Because God few damn. people know this. But, but before the show started, uh, Norm comes in to uh, where, like, this office just, that yeah. I'm sitting trying to have something to eat. And he goes into this long, convoluted thing, like, oh, well, you know, at the end, I'm going to, like, say, I'm going to show Janine Garofalo. <laughs> And say, I'm serious, and I'm going to pour gasoline on myself. And you'll say, don't do that. And, yeah, that was funnier than the entire. And, and I'll set fire. And it, it goes on. He describes it. it it's like, like a miniseries. Yeah, it's like the someone way talking to you in a fever dream. Like, yeah, no it just goes on and on and on and on. And then finally, I had to ask someone else here. I said, what did he just say? Because I didn't, it made, it made no sense whatsoever. And then, much like how we were talking in the show about sometimes as a kid, I'd watch a comedian or a sketch and think, <laughs> Oh, I don't know, but obviously something's there. I thought once I see it on television, it's going to be great. I'm just missing it. I'm stupid and don't get subtle comedy. And I thought, but once it's on its feet, and then it, it was, it, that really was a nightmare. It was a, yeah, it was that a real was, fucking nightmare. That was horrible. 
We I, yeah. I put my sandwich aside. It makes so. no more sense when you actually. It makes less sense it when you saw it. It didn't yeah. work out. Yeah, it didn't yeah, work that out. was. That I was, was begging you to abort. Yeah, you know? yeah. We're that, looking. Yeah. We're we're writing, trying to look for pieces for our, our best of. I think that one. <laughs> Of course, you know, much like the stateroom scene in, in Night at the Opera and, yeah. and uh, Charlie Chaplin playing with the globe, as far as classic <laughs> comedy moments, it's going to be you setting yourself on fire. Have you ever worked with the Capitol Steps? <laughs> what? I'm just asking a question. It's a fucking quiz show. It's not a quiz show. It's a chat show. The Capitol Steps? Yeah, they were they used to open for Mark Russell. Oh. <laughs> With the, uh, Do you know Mark the Russell? Set. Oh, yes. The yeah. piano Do it in the Washington yeah. Ring. Yeah, 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 and that was that kind of thing you'd watch and go, that's... See, now, I, I, even then, I was going... You go, do I know, get it? Or yeah, 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 I was going... I guess I'm not intellectual enough. Is it bad to be... or do I not get yes. it? Yes. <laughs> Art Buckwald, I found like that when I'd read the old newspaper. Oh, yes. You go, maybe I don't get it. Art Buckwald, who wrote Coming to America. Oh, that's right. I mean, the big lawsuit. And, and oh, uh, what was his name again, the piano? Oh, uh, da, 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 huh? Yeah, yeah, the, with who did the Washington Rail. Yeah, all the uh, political Russell. songs. Ma- yeah, oh, Russell. yes, yes. We were just talking about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I forgot <laughs> it. Yeah, he, he would have these songs. Yeah. They'd play them on Channel 13 a lot. <laughs> yes, it was always <laughs> on Channel 13. And we're lowering our taxes today. <laughs> and I go, uh, okay, yeah. I guess, see, I don't keep so if you were politics. Mark Russell and you're talking about like the the government getting into a Verizon and watching, you know, Verizon, <laughs> the government is watching Verizon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Norm McDonald is oh, doing no. serious comedy, <laughs> so he's setting himself on fire <laughs> in a beat at the end of his show where they do a cliffhanger <laughs> like in the Batman series. Batman is very hard to find. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, he hides in a cave. No, no. I mean, and he's Bruce Wayne during the very, day. It's so very it's complex, <laughs> yeah. But did you think it was weird that he had a, his, a youthful ward? And then Bert Ward? He was played by Burt yeah. Ward. Ah! But they always, you know, in the... Even see, in the see the CIA's involved in yeah. this one. <laughs> So how would Mark Russell say talk about that? He He had a ward (laughs) whose name was Ward. When I think of you, well, I was gone. Did you ask him who is he started out with? Yeah. And what was the answer? He he kind of skipped. He he didn't. He He skipped over. He avoided that. Flip Wilson. (laughs) (laughs) Flip Wilson. (laughs) Flip Wilson. He seemed to have gotten out at the right time. Like, you know, he didn't hang around too much, right? I think he got rich, almost like Arsenio. Yes. Rich gone. He's coming back, Arsenio. <laughs> Flip O. No, no, Arsenio. Right. Flip's dead. I think he's dead, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but do you know that Arsenio's coming back? Uh, yes. Yeah. Do you think it's going to work out? No. You were on no. Arsenio's show many times. I used to come on that show a yeah. lot, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. This is did you ever do the t- almost as well as setting himself. <laughs> did, you ever do, did you ever do the Johnny Carson show? Ah, uh, he will. I'm doing, I'm doing Alan Thick. <laughs> oh, you couldn't because you were on the Alan Thick show. <laughs> no, no, I never did Carson. Oh, I wonder why. You know, uh, Gilbert. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, I was going to Wait add. a minute. Why did you never do the Carson show? I, they never asked me. And is that depressing? Yes, yeah, very depressing. And, and I always thought Carson, he did that. He had his character named Aunt Blabby. Oh, sure. That was a direct ripoff of Jonathan <laughs> Winter's Maud Frick. <laughs> Even... Stole the costume. Oh, yes, the exact same costume. How did he get away with it? Because he was the king of the night? I think it was king. But he would do, yes, he would, John of the Winters had Monty Frickert, this old lady, Mm -hmm. and he would dress up in the... I recall that. And then Aunt Blabby came out, and he's right. Same shit. 
like a direct steal. And then he would steal like Carson and, uh, and uh, Carson. Would, Car- yeah. Also stolen from and, Question Man. Oh, yeah. yeah. And also just even the voice was then like Jackie Gleason with like the. Mm, yes. Reginald Van Gleason. Yes. That's good booze. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. He could steal off everyone and then everyone was afraid of him. <laughs> I respect that. Huh? I respect that. What's that? And, and, I, I read King of the Night. Oh, yeah? Oh, my God. He was, they said he did cocaine with John DeLorean. Ooh. You know, his best friend was John DeLorean, which was a little suspicious. Yeah. And then when you think about it, they said he did coke right before the monologue. But when you think about how he did that monologue. Oh, yeah. You know, he's like moving around and like ultra confident. Yeah. Seems like maybe a guy on coke. When you it, started out, were guys doing cocaine? I don't, I didn't notice huh? anything in particular. Oh, but I do, I, I, and then he also stole that bit where he'd go, uh, I'm uh, doing serious comedy, <laughs> and I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to set myself on fire. Uh, uh, Edge, Edge, you want to, you want to light a, a big liner on me? People are not going to know it. Hey, oh! Oh, do you know, on this blue cards, <laughs> this, is where we do our, this is where we do our famous quotes. Because, you know, Jan- Janine Ruffalo, uh, she does serious comedy. And, and then, then there's that comedian who got shot on stage. He, he does. You know what Johnny Carson said that was interesting? He said the comedian's a disease, he called it. Yeah. <laughs> When they become philosophers, <laughs> he was he was referring it to yeah. to George Carlin. But we do famous quotes on these shows. Yes. Okay. okay. Show. When, Would you like to read? Huh? When did this start? It's a new. <laughs> It had to be a first time, that, you know. Oh, it's been going on for some t- So this, this is like those infomercials where they <laughs> make it like be. a talk show. That looks right. like it. That looks like an infomercial. And 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 they'll have the one who's the host going. Remember, you know, in the Dan- years, didn't they have Danny Bonaduce? Oh yes, yes. Yeah. They make it look like a talk show, and then on the infomercial, I'll say, you know, in the years that this show's been on, and and you go, yeah, yeah. wait a minute, then how come <laughs> I've never seen it before? <laughs> But this is seriously a famous oh, okay. quote. okay. All right. <laughs> you know our new segment? <laughs> famous quotes. This is going to go over real Spiro well. Spiro Agnew. <laughs> Spiro Agnew. <laughs> I can do one. I remember Spiro one card. Agnew. I guess, yeah. You be at, okay? Okay. <laughs> Mount Baldy. Mount Baldy. <laughs> That's what I said. Mount Baldy. <laughs> What did Ewell Brenner's wife do on their wedding night? <laughs> that was a great one. And what about like when you were a kid and you saw The Tonight Show and you'd go, Burbank, that's funny. Like you'd go, we're oh, having yes. an affair in Encino and you'd laugh along, like, you know, even though you didn't know. And, well, they, on, on Laughing, they'd always oh, say, beautiful, beautiful downtown down- Burbank. Yes. And then you'd go, it must suck, it must be funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, are you going to read your famous no, quote? So, no. Here your... And then there was a joke <laughs> yeah. that started after Carson was off the air already. Yeah. And this was, but uh, it was a popular sick joke. And that was, uh, 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 Christopher Walken. And, Christopher Walken. Yeah. <laughs> What what's something you never see at the Reeve household? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <Hey-o! laughs> so you'd actually need a partner to do that yeah, job. Yes, see. Are you gonna famous, read your quote? Yes. Famous quotes. Famous quotes. While your man is hard, use one hand to push his penis up toward his stomach. Lick the- <laughs> Lick the underside of his shaft by keeping your tongue flat and moving your head from <laughs> from side <laughs> from side to side to cover more surface area. Barbara Bush. Oh, that was Barbara Bush. <laughs> 
I remember she said that in the State of the Union address. I found these in a book, famous quotes. This one I wasn't aware. Of. Well, let's give another one to Gil. Yeah. Okay. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Famous quotes. <laughs> Intensify his orgasm (laughs) by placing two fingers an inch behind his balls and and feeling for a dent. It's the perimenium, per, perimenium, a big pleasure trigger for the last 30 seconds before he comes, <laughs> massage the spot in a circular motion. Henry Kissinger. Well, that was Kissinger. <laughs> Some people say he was a war criminal. Yes. <laughs> But I don't know about that. You see, it makes more sense with a German accent. <laughs> no, yeah, Kissinger was sort of a, a sort of a. He, he went out with, famously with Jill St. John. Oh yes. Yes. The show could be do well in the seventies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is kind of education. Yeah. Adam Egan, he doesn't know hardly nothing. <laughs> And yet he's manager of the world famous comedy store. <laughs> <laughs> Who are some of the guys you've seen? Charlie Who are some Fleischer. Of the guys you started out with Charlie uh, Fleischer. Yeah, I've seen, yeah. I've seen Charles, he 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 doesn't come by much anymore. But. Charles Fleischer used to always close the improv. He'd always close. Yeah, and he'd do an hour. I'm not sure. I think that guy's out of his goddamn mind. <laughs> Am I allowed to say? I don't even know. If he comes back, it could be awkward. But What happened? He's just out of his mind. What did he do? <laughs> you know, I'm not going to get into it. Did, he oh. have, did you have an encounter with him? I mean, no, just every encounter. That you have? It's very bizarre. Hmm. Off-putting. Well, well, he seemed like a good guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying he's a bad guy, just <laughs> fucking bizarre. <laughs> We're going to go eat with Bob Saget later. Do you, cool. do you know that 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 Fleischer was one of the people on Think of the Night? Oh, that's, I thought, well, kind yes. of thought. That's why yeah. I fell into silence. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought it was a former uh, <laughs> regular irregular on uh, Think of the Night. I don't know if it's an act, uh, but yeah, he's very, very on. I, well, I enjoy him every week. <laughs> what? Welcome back, Cotter. He's the... Fleischer? Fleischer is a regular uh, <laughs> similar. He was? Yeah, he was the other gang. He oh. was against the sweat hogs. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a hysterical guy. Do you know that uh, what, uh, Ron Palillo and Robert Hedges both died in the same year? So when they did the, the death people thing on the Emmys. Wait, who's the second guy? Oh, yes. They both died in the same yeah. year? Yeah. So when they did the death people thing on the Emmys, they showed just one clip that had both of them. Oh, that's yeah. brilliant. <laughs> Ron Palillo. Horshack. Got it. <laughs> yeah, damn. He thinks the guy, he gets confused at the end. He just died, right? When it says, like, Cam Fong is Chin Ho, he gets a fucking... <laughs> But seriously, that one, they didn't really have to change his name. <laughs> Could have been Cam Fong as Cam Fong. Uh, Hawaii. Hawaii Five-0. Five-0. There you go. You watched the new Hawaii Five-0? No. no. Oh, you watched the old one? I, I haven't seen much of it. I can answer any trivia question on the Beverly Hillbillies. That's true. I've seen you do it. It's fucking, it's impressive. Yeah. Um, Do you know that show? Uh, let, let's, oh, okay, let's see. So what were they before they became... <laughs> I thought we were saving this for Sweeps Week. Beverly Hills. <laughs> Sweeps Week is an old term that no one ever uses. <laughs> Everything's different now. This is what my agent tells me. I'm like, when's pilot season? He's like, anytime. <laughs> I'm like, I thought there was a thing called pilot season. He's like, it's not this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big out for them now. Because there used to be an actual pilot season. Now you can get a job at any time, but to my agent that means I can never get a job. Yeah. <laughs> and now he thinks he probably thinks you have a job now, so he's not, probably not even looking. Yeah, we make nothing. Yeah, we make zero. <laughs> Nada. Nothing on this yeah. show. I think we make less than you. 
<laughs> like, like often people will get a drive to the studio, so technically they've made more than us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm out gas money. Oh, now you get gas money. No, not yet. And I, I, and I heard talk in the hallway like, like they sort of counted 100 people watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, we had a good week. Man. That's not bad. It's not good enough to get Kathy Griffin. <laughs> That's a good point. Duly noted. You want to read a famous quote? Oh, yes. Famous quote. Famous quotes. <clears throat> to increase its glitteral contact when she's on top, make a V with two fingers. <laughs> And place it so the point of the V is just between the two knuckles is directly over her clit. Oh. Your finger should come down either side of, of your penis as she writes you. This will stimulate the clitoris in a labia and urethra, as well as <laughs> intensity for you. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, that was Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> Inside comment. But see, I knew that because I saw the movie. Oh, you saw it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I think we have to take a break and pay some That's bills. That's why Lincoln was shot. Yeah? Is because, because he of, indulged in that. Oh, because that was, yeah. <laughs> yes. That was the part of the speech they never And he did serious about. jokes is another oh, reason. God he damn was, it. But seriously, and, though. What see, is, and, he was never shot. He actually <laughs> took a, a can of gasoline. Why did you think of that bit? <laughs> what did I say? And his sidekick, uh, Lincoln had a sidekick. Lincoln had a sidekick? <laughs> Lincoln had a sidekick that came up with the bit because in this case, he came up with this fucking bit. And, and Lincoln's sidekick was famous. I had a famous quote yeah. that was, uh, a guy's in a bar and he shoots the girl. I, I think it's the Care Bears. <laughs> <laughs> It was a long time ago. Yes. I went on stage maybe four yes. times. I okay. don't recall. Tell a joke again. Um, Remember when you came to me at the club? I'm like, who's opening? He's like, Jimmy Kimmel's sister. <laughs> Good friend of mine, Jill. Absolutely. <laughs> doesn't even say her name. <laughs> I did. You, I, said, goes, you, I said Jill Brown. You're like, who the fuck is that? I was like, well, it's Jimmy could, Kimmel's could sister. Could you do the joke about the girl uh, in the, the bar again? No. Um, no, please. No, I, I honestly don't recall joke. it. I, I really don't recall you know, it. You, uh, I remember the gist of okay, it. Okay, what was the gist? Uh, <laughs> that uh, a, a girl came up and, and asked me to do a, a shot call, and the, and the name of the shot was Care Bear Semen or something. I don't remember. It didn't go well. That's why I don't. That's why I don't do stand up anymore. Clearly. I don't know. I think it grows up. <laughs> I would disagree. I would disagree strongly. Disagree. I mean, these are, these are the these are the reasons why we're having trouble booking Kathy Griffin. It's things like this, you know. Who wants to hear this? Kathy Griffin is very wealthy. It seems to me. Is she? Yeah, but Robert Blake can't be. So how? I know. Uh, well, we're st we're having trouble getting Robert Blake. I must. I think he watches the show. I'll bet you he doesn't. And, and <laughs> One time when I was a kid, I was watching Password. You know, in the morning, I'd always watch game shows. Yeah, remember Robert that, Blake that had show? that joke, yeah. shoot my wife, please. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Blake, Vitello's is the restaurant. Yep, in the valley. He, Vineland, I think. He, I believe, was innocent. <laughs> what? We're trying to get him on the show. He, his, he had an odd alibi that he was... Do you remember his alibi? It was a strange alibi. He had to go back uh, to his to his car or back into the he restaurant. He had to go back to the restaurant to get his, his revolver. Yeah, yes. he left his gun on the road. We've been there. Come on. So there's no way he could have killed his wife. No, he didn't have the his time, gun on him. At the time I, I went oh. to that restaurant I did too, yeah. after, you know, that happened. Everybody they had a Robert so Blake funny. special inside no. there. No. <laughs> they did, I swear, because... Lord and Joe's mother and when it. I left the restaurant, a waiter chased me out in the street and said, oh, you left your sunglasses there. <laughs> so I figured, but a gun, 
Yeah, that gets swept away, you know, with the plates. But my sunglasses, they chase me out. And said, you left these. But all of a sudden, a gun, they go, oh, a gun, you know, crumbs you know, on the uh, tape. You know who we got to replace Robert Blake last minute? A good buddy of yours, uh, Fred Stoller. So that was that was cool. Fred Stoller yeah. came yeah, up. And he said that you, uh, he had a girlfriend that had bulimia at the time. And you asked the girl in public if she could throw up for you. Yes. <laughs> well, it's a talent. <laughs> and then he said there was a girl that, there's two girls that wanted to be comedy groupies. Sure. And they wanted to be you and Fred Stoller's comedy groupies, but they didn't want to have sex with you, so you spit on them through a window. <laughs> Oh, those are two stories. <laughs> Which was a quote by Eisenhower. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't seem real to me. It didn't. Like you were spitting at women out a right. window for yeah. not having sex with them? I, didn't, I couldn't see it happening. When did the spitting thing happen in, se- in pornography? <laughs> I, what kind of pornography I, are you watching? I see things in pornography, and the girl will spit on the guy's uh, private parts. Right. <laughs> That never I never seen? saw. You've never seen that. I never saw. You've never someone, seen yeah, yeah, seen no. That. You have? Yeah, sure. Tell them about it. Well, girls, a girl, uh, yeah, they they spit on on the, on the guys. You just said it. I said it, but not dirty though. All right, the the girl is blowing a guy and spits all over his cock. Oh, what yeah. do you mean? She spits the cum? Well, I mean, sometimes, but I think it's most mostly prior to. to what do you mean? Finishing. She just takes his dick and goes. Yeah, exactly. And that's... I've yeah, never I seen mean, that. Well, I mean, yeah, I think to, to lube it up or, or whatnot. I've never seen it. No? No. <laughs> okay. I really think we should well, sometimes go... Sometimes they lube lather it up, it up is and, one of and the sp- what have you. Lube it up is your sponsor, is it? Lube it up? <laughs> <laughs> Which we will not be paid for as well. Yeah. Christ. But really, we, we should go to commercial because it's getting a little unseemly. <laughs> I'm just talking about girls spit on guys' cocks on film. I don't understand. You asked me. Have you ever met Ron Jeremy? Yes, yes. Another one who thinks he's a comedian and works as a comedian. I think he does. Yeah. yeah. He's the funny, the funny one. The funny war, oh, the funny porn yeah. star. And he hangs out with with people I know, like Bob Saget will know him. And yeah. I'm sure Bob Saget. Yeah, you know, Jeff Ross. I was having dinner with Jeff Ross, and he ran into. Yeah, you know, he knew Jeff. Yeah, he does. He knows. He hangs out with all the. Companies. Oh well, he go. He knows you. I've met from him the, a couple from the times. Yeah, world famous comedy a few store. times. And I'm... didn't you tell me he wants to write skits? <laughs> he does. Now he's pretending he knows nothing about this guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did you? Did you write that skit we did? Yeah. <laughs> He wrote that skit. He wrote the gasoline. Yeah, originally, he, this guy wrote the fucking skit. It was we changed funny. it to you pouring gasoline over yourself. Originally, it was written where some girl spits all over Norm's cock. Do, <laughs> do you have a clip of the gasoline thing that we could show just in case? Because people, yeah, people will not know what we're talking about. What are they talking about? <laughs> Oh, no, we don't want to really. Well, we have to, yes, go, to, well, yes. we have to go to break. Please, so please show a clip. We kind of have to see it now because fucking Gilbert Brady yes, would have a yeah. million times. Show a clip. When we come back, we'll bump back. Yeah, we'll bump back. All right, all right we'll be back. <laughs> Do we have any sponsors anymore? <laughs> no. We're back. And Norm McDonald I is speaking with Gilbert Gottfried. You know what I was thinking just now? No. <laughs> about setting yourself on fire oh, because because you want to do serious jokes because you, you saw someone get shot. I was thinking yeah. that the new comedians, like Jim Gaffigan, yeah. what is it called when you say a joke and then refer to it? Oh, Some yeah. sort of I don't meta? Know what it's called, but yeah, everybody's just What are they doing? Expl- kind of explain what they do. Well, what they do is they're, they're basically uh, uh, saying uh, what Jim does is he he's telling you what the audience is reacting to. So give to an example. Joke. So it's like, uh, you know, Jim Gaffigan has a joke about... Um, no, no, I mean, know, be Jim Gaffigan. Say that. Oh, okay, like, um, I like... Uh, um, oh, God, I can't think of one. I'm, I, I wish I was... Hmm. The joke, it's not that the joke part isn't important. You can talk about the characters, but you just say the... Make okay, up so he's like, uh, yeah. you know, um, S, uh, I, I like uh, S- Samuel, something, the punchline, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, I don't care for him. He's not a good actor. <laughs> 
he, something like that. He, but it's not that he said he was commenting on his own act, not on Samuel yeah, that's what he's, Oh, yeah, but he's talking about the... Why does this... All right, so he'll, he'll be talking about, like, cheeseburgers. I, you know, I, I love, love about I mini love, muffins yeah. is you can eat fucking 12 of them. Oh, he just keeps talking about food. Why is he talking about food yes. so much? Yes. He does that. And now this has become a kind of a standard since... Yeah, then, like, since he did it, it's like everybody. It. I saw Gilbert do that what? 20 years ago. Yeah. Oh, where okay. he was his own father. Yeah. Watching his oh. Yeah. How did that put go? on a pair of I'd glasses. Been, I've been doing that for years. <laughs> way before they had a name for it. I had no idea. He would say a joke, and then he'd put on his glasses, he'd be his father and not care for <laughs> yeah. the joke. Right? That's yes. brilliant. So you do that at Yuck Yucks. Yes. In yes. Toronto. Oh my God! Yes. And I had been doing it for years before that. Years before that. Yeah. This was fifteen, twenty years ago. So what do you have to well, say now? I mean, I'm not a good, you know, anything. Yeah, I mean, clearly. <laughs> I mean, it's like <laughs> Gilbert is not looking at your slow burn that you've been trying to perfect. It's not. I mean, it's not even. Yeah, it's not even a slow burn anymore. It's just a reaction <laughs> at this point. You like a joke? Not Come particularly. Well, oh, this is okay. crazy. This this time, but this time uh, it'll it, go. Okay, over get well. ready to laugh. Um, <laughs> Why is it so different to find pornography about people in stable monogamous relationships? Why is it so what? Different. Different? Difficult! <laughs> Damn. Start all over and the joke still works. <laughs> oh my god. You want to do a joke? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cocksucker. <laughs> China's government has reported they have lost over 28,000 rivers in the past decade. That's weird. <laughs> that is weird. My theory is they sold it into the sordid world of underground river sex <laughs> trafficking. <laughs> That's a really good punchline. A very suspect premise. <laughs> <laughs> One day I was at a comedy club, so the middle act, he, he said, did you read in the paper today how men are going to be, uh, now uh, can give birth, men? And they go, that's going to be some shit. He was a black guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're gonna be like we're gonna be like fuck man my asshole so but anyways I remember the first time I saw it I was like what like I said you read that in the paper he's like I made it up <laughs> so I said well you can't just say because everyone when you say the joke they're all looking at each other like you know uh, he goes it works doesn't it you get all mad but I'm like I think you could just say like what if men had to have birth I don't think you need this pretend thing because people are going to go home and... I just want to thank you for clarifying that it was a black guy I thought it was going to be Mark Russell for sure shit man Mother... and he'd do racist men jokes give birth <laughs> he never really took a side Mark Russell no no <laughs> There was a, a, an impressionist that I saw at one of the clubs, mm. and his his segue to the impressions, like they always would have a segue, you yeah. know, like, and his was that his car broke down on the road, and it would be like, oh, there's Robert Mitchell, maybe he'll help. <laughs> Why, it's Henry Fonda, maybe he'll help. <laughs> Oh, he was. Yes. Oh, his, his car was broke down. Oh, look, it's James Cagney. Maybe he'll help. I was I was guys that don't live <laughs> contemporaneously. Like my, sounds like my fucking car. There was a guy because I remember Rich Little had a thing where he'd have the it was a football team. Oh, oh, was, yes, yes. All kinds of guys. In it. But I, when I was starting out, there was a comedian, and it was it was his closing bit. It was Abbott and Costello. And Costello had Abbott had died. Costello had died. Yes. And so he was Abbott was trying out new guys. Oh, so oh he, guys geez. he'd try out Rocky and <laughs> just any, anything this guy could do. And they do like the who's on furs and it wasn't working out. A, and then Costello showed up at the end of the thing. Costello yeah. but he was a ghost. 
And he go, Lou, what are you doing? He goes, I'm up in heaven. <laughs> and he go, oh, how is it up there? He goes, the crowds are always good, and then the lights would go down. Sort of the opposite of Bill Hicks. Oh, jeez. Oh, Hours. <laughs> but everybody, uh, yeah, nobody worked out, of course, in the who's on first bit. Who we tried to do, remember once at the Tempe Improv? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the Tempe Improv, the who's on first bit is written on the wall. It's really it's hard. very yeah. difficult, especially if you're trying to do it with fucking me. Yeah, I was trying to do it with him. <laughs> it's not going to go well. <laughs> not going to go well. <laughs> My but it's also kid. difficult. It is difficult. <laughs> Did you see, remember when they did the Button Lou TV movie? Oh, uh, Harvey, Harvey Corman? Harvey Corman and Buddy Hackett. And Hackett. It, that was horrible. <laughs> I remember It that. sounded like they had given them the words to who's on Oh, they first, did it, huh? But, but never actually uh, showed them how <laughs> like, it was like done. Because, <laughs> oh, oh, and it, but it's got the greatest... Closing death scene line. Uh, who died? Oh, Abba died first. Right? Uh, no, no. Oh, Costello it's died? Costello. No, then that guy's impression was correct. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's why the bit works. Yeah, yeah. Co- co- uh, Buddy Hackett as Costello. It's supposed to be that um, uh, Lou Costello like strawberry malted. And he's in his deathbed there, Buddy Hackett as Costello. And, and Artie Johnson, who's his manager, sneaks him Artie in. Artie Johnson's the straight guy. Yeah, he <laughs> sneaks him in, a strawberry malted. And Hackett takes a sip and he goes, I know I think. I've had a lot of strawberry maltage in my day, but this one's the best. As <laughs> 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 Buddy Hackett as yes. Lou Costello. That's why. That's my my <laughs> my show stuff. <laughs> How's Buddy Haggard just straight, like you're a straight Buddy Haggard? Yeah. How's that, how does he go? He would probably do Buddy Haggard. Yeah. He had a great jokes, right? Yeah. Or great bits. He used to, he used to go, I'm going to set myself on fire <laughs> to be, because I want to do serious <laughs> comedy <laughs> like Janine Buffalo does. <laughs> Could you light that big lighter and set me on fire? He did. What about when comedians at the end of their life sometimes do serious work? Milton Berle, I saw he was like a dying oh, old man yes. or something in a movie. Yeah, he was on an episode of, of 90210. He was? Uh, yeah, so as, a, as an old man. Then you, he could, did you ever meet yeah. him? Yes. Really? Yeah, I met I met Milton Berle. And did he give you advice, or did you ask him for advice? It seems like when you meet an old guy like that, you sort of have to ask. Him oh, for advice. oh yes, yes. Yeah. But I heard he didn't for me. But I heard he used to like love showing his dick to people. Oh, really? yeah, yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, yeah, I've never heard. I hear this is what I hear about, but from everybody I hear. I met this guy, and he, you know, like this, did you ever hear that he had a robe on, and you could see his cock and balls? Oh, yes. I've heard that about so many different people. Oh, yeah. But maybe that's just a power play old people use or something. <laughs> I don't know. But have you ever, have you ever heard that? All the time yeah. about Artie Johnson. <laughs> you don't know who no. Artie he Johnson would, is? He would pull his dick out and go, very interesting. Oh, from laughing? Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Very interesting, but stupid. Yes. <laughs> what is that joke? Da, 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 da. <laughs> we should play that music in between each joke. Oh, yeah. oh, da, this would be da, a good da, joke da, for this. Da, 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 you could do the music after this joke. A man in France tried to rob a bank using underwear as a mask. The cops put him in jail right after a quick debriefing. It was that long. <laughs> George Slaughter, I'm sure you've worked uh, oh, with. Oh, yes, yes. There was a show George Slaughter did, which seemed very demeaning to stand-up comedy. It was called George Slaughter's Comedy Club. And so if you did a joke on dogs and another guy did a joke on dogs, he'd just say dogs and then have like six different comedians from six different 
clops. And, and that didn't work. And it didn't work out. And if you happen to laugh in your act, then they would put, like, you know, Carol Leifer's joke before you, so it looked like you were laughing. <laughs> that makes sense, actually. <laughs> What's your joke? Oh, you oh. said you had a joke? Oh, this one I wrote. Yeah. To tell you, I'm <laughs> doing it. I opened with this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be doing it on Woody Woodbury. Show. Woody Woodbury. We. <laughs> you know, I'm old enough to remember back to simpler, more innocent times when the worst thing you'd hear about the news was hijacked jetliners <laughs> flying into buildings. Oh, now, Gilbert, you're going to get into trouble again. I spoke to Johnny. Oh, he loved that, it. Is that right? Yes. He goes, oh, that's a, that's a funny joke. Uh, this, is, this is 1964, so that hasn't happened yet. So that'll, so it's a safe joke to do. <laughs> this is what Saget told me, Bob Saget. He said he was on The Tonight Show yes. with Johnny Carson. And he did a joke. A joke. Yeah. <laughs> Where he said, he said, Johnny, I had a dream last night where there was Buddy Rich and Buddy Greco and Buddy, can you think of another Buddy? Hackett? Yeah. I was just talking about he, said, I, he said, I had a dream. You know, Saget talks real fast. He goes, I had a dream last night and Buddy Rich and Buddy, uh, it was my three buddies and Buddy Rich and Buddy Greco and Buddy um, Hackett. Hackett. And uh, so they go to commercial and then he says to Johnny Carson, you know, Johnny, that's a, a, actually a true story. I had that dream. And Johnny Carson goes, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Obviously, it wasn't a true story. <laughs> How could it be a true story? We'll be Saget will be with us a little later, but not on television. But we're gonna go oh, yeah. eat with Saget. That's right. And you're coming along. Yeah, he's great. He's just he's one of the nicest guys ever. He is. <laughs> That's a good story. Second only to Christ. Is, <laughs> is Bob he really is a genuinely yes. one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Right, whatever. I'm trying to tell him that's not an anecdote. That's not an anecdote. I know that. <laughs> there has to be some way like, coming to a point or something. Oh, here, you want to read a joke? Uh, um, the world's second, I'm sorry, the world's second oldest man died this week at 113. Good news for the third oldest man in the world who also got bad news this week. He's dying. Second. <laughs> well, we have to do math. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's not... Let's see, like let's see this joke. I mean, this is a joke that he gave. He says he's doing it in his act, and it's killing. This, this one's great. That he closes with this, and everyone seems to relate to it. <laughs> Answer machine. This, for that? <laughs> yeah, really, right? it Michael matter. Douglas claims that oral sex can lead to throat cancer, which might shed some light on why Adam Egit prefers. To lick men's assholes. I'll be doing that on Woody Woodbury's show next week. I'm, hey, he as long as it he kills, it tastes cool. like cop, like cotton, copper. He said it tastes like pennies. That's what you told me. Mm. 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 Well, I... No, but it kills. That's old, good. Oh, I mean, kidding aside, I hope you don't die of throat cancer. He thinks sincere. Yeah, no, no, that was sweet. Because yeah. I know you lick a lot of men's assholes. And I just pray... Are you watching a slow sin- burn? Sincerely. I sincerely pray that the last time you, you look out a guy's asshole, you don't die of throat cancer. I appreciate that. And, and I think everyone <laughs> agrees with me. On. Yeah. If I was on Oprah, the audience would start clapping. I'd say... And, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I... I don't know how I can get through this without crying, but I hope next time Adam eats out a man's shit-filled asshole, he doesn't... He 
doesn't die of throat cancer. What about, look under your seats, everyone. What's under their seats? <laughs> well, it's Adam Eve yet. <laughs> Look under your seat, it's Adam Egan licking your asshole out and giving himself throat cancer at the same time. He's multi-talented. <laughs> See, earlier he said you could do nothing. Right. And now he's right. saying you could do I could do two, two things. things. I could eat out a man's asshole and get throat cancer. It's, and I'm a multitasker. It's like too, how Sammy could... Davis could sing and dance and do yeah. impressions. Right. I'm just like Sammy I, Davis Adam Jr. Could, of ass eating. And... Eat out a man's asshole. So he's the Sammy and... Davis Jr. Yeah, of ass eating. Um, well, ass eating and, 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 and While he's uh, got his tongue inserted right, in a man's asshole, he's going, candy man, <laughs> old like Candy man. <laughs> <laughs> Who can take a sunrise? <laughs> Smear it with all the fucking shit. No, no, no. But do you want to read a joke? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Well, you want to hear Gilbert talk about I'll you? I'll read the joke. <laughs> uh, the national. Last night I was looking at a man's asshole and I noticed a cancerous tumor. In my throat. <laughs> That's his impression of you. <laughs> it's the highest form of flattery. They say impressions are the highest form of flattery. So listen and be flattered. Okay. Hey, there's Adam looking on a man's asshole. Maybe he'll help. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to fix his car. No, it's a callback. It's a callback. That was a good segue. He needs help. Maybe you have a jack. Hey, Adam's licking out a man's asshole who's on first race. <laughs> He does everybody. No, it's it's uncanny. It's unbelievable. Frank, he does Frank Caliendo. What's your Frank Caliendo? Let's hear. Let's hear some. No, I want to hear some Frank Caliendo. What, what's, what's well, right? he does Dave Madden. <laughs> Dave Madden. <laughs> calling, calling the shots as Adam is licking on a man's asshole and getting throat cancer. Oh my God! We should not. We're all going to go to hell. <laughs> sure. No, but um, see now, now if if a real impressionist did this, he'd go, and Adam licking out a man's asshole, it might go something <laughs> like this. <laughs> I thought he was gonna do it. I thought he was too. <laughs> okay. No. <okay. laughs> I. Oh, my God. Have you heard about this tea kettle? No, no. let's hear about the tea. Oh, I actually have. That looks a lot like a Hitler. Right. hey -o! <laughs> <laughs> We don't have a picture of it, but... It does. It, I've seen it. It does look just like Hitler, yeah. Yeah. And how do you feel about that? <laughs> Is that the joke? Now, you... Oh, the joke? Go ahead. Now, you once licked out Hitler's asshole, didn't you? <laughs> Is that true? We have, yes. <laughs> there was a report on 13. <laughs> now, that Adam used to lick out his Ranger Hitler's said that was verified by Snopes. <laughs> that I used to... Did I used to lick out the, the leader of the Third Reich's asshole? His corpse. Yes. The corpse. Yes. The, corpse. Oh, the corpse of Hitler's asshole. The, the, yeah. uh, no, the, I, I can't. I'm not going to confirm or deny these allegations. I'm not going to. I don't even want to. But I'm if not you were gonna... licking out uh, the corpse of Hitler's asshole, I think it would go a little something <laughs> like this. <laughs> What? What he combines yeah. mime and and some of the old sex tips from earlier too. He's combining. It's like a hat trick of filth. If, if Adam was spitting on Hitler's dick, yeah, that it might go a little something like this. Uh, oh my God, that's what it is. It's not in any heterosexual porn. Don't don't crystal knock it till you try it. <laughs> 
Hi-oh! Ho! Uh, now, we don't in any way support any of them. <laughs> I say crystal knock. You're, you're talking about me blowing dead hair I'm for not two talking hours. about that at all. He happened upon the fact that <laughs> spitting on someone in that way in a porno is not a heterosexual thing, because neither of us have ever seen it, and you only see it. <laughs> So he put that together. In his you head. only see it 24 hours a day. <laughs> it's what's going on in your mind in a loop. It's spitting on a guy's dick. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but J.C. Penney's ran an ad for a tea kettle that looked... Oh, we covered that. <laughs> a tea kettle <laughs> who looked like Hitler. Is it true? The you spout looked bag, like a dick. Yeah. And a you used to Hitler's spit on corpse, it. Yes. <laughs> Now, I didn't even know Hitler's corpse was found. Like, I thought it was yeah, just that's... a charred, like... <laughs> what, did just, didn't they just put a, put a gun So in? You, you're more impressed that I was able to find the corpse than, than disturbed by the fact that I dug it up and, and, and fucked it. Oh. You never said you fucked it. All right, sucked it. You sucked his I asshole? Said... <laughs> I said... I never even heard of that. All I said was that you ate out the corpse of Adolf Hitler's asshole. That's all I said. That's a, yeah. I would never say, demean you in any way to say you fucked it. <laughs> I'm going to find some real gasoline. I'm going to light myself on fire at the end of this episode. <laughs> Mr. Homophobe. <laughs> Somebody's a little uh, unsure of their No, sexuality. because of the Hitler thing. My mom's watching this. First, I was a, a, a Holocaust denier earlier in the episode, or maybe that was last week. I can't that was remember. last was week. That last week. <laughs> yeah, you should get your story straight. That's a good point. But maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't know if those two points of view can mesh or not. Uh, a Holocaust in there, and maybe your sex drive is just so strong. Like they always say, rapists have incredibly high sex drives. I would, I would imagine they they do. Like the most civilized people don't have very high sex drives. Hmm. But rapists, you ever you ever rape? No. <laughs> Did you ever rape Hitler's corpse? <laughs> Like by trying to fuck it in the asshole. Because the guy told me once he was in, uh, he was a Vietnam vet, and that he shot three people, and uh, <laughs> after killing them, he involuntarily ejaculated. What? <laughs> That's what a guy in the street told me. He wanted some money. <laughs> That so was his opener. Yeah, yeah, they all have their little funny stories to get to get money from you. And, and he always wanted thirty five cents. He always wanted the exact same. Did money. it work? Yeah, I'd give him a dollar. <laughs> well, it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it for that yeah. story, sure. Yeah, yeah. But at least he owned up to it. What do you like? Some people. Like, I haven't murdered anybody and no. came in my fucking pants. <sighs> What has this become? I mean, That's what you said, the guy. You're, I'm just saying. Daniel's trying to sell the show. <laughs> Daniel is trying to sell the show. <laughs> See, this is why we can't get Kathy Griffith on the show. Also, that's not her you, name. <laughs> Ka- Kathy Griffith was halfway to this. <laughs> She was on her way here. Kathy Griffith was halfway to the studio till you started licking out Hitler's asshole. And that's why she turned around and went home. Her guest list is so long, I wouldn't be surprised if there's also a Kathy Griffith on the list. If this is true, yes, the Hitler thing, what about... Jesus Christ. No, but what about Hitler... You you licked out Jesus Christ's asshole? Oh, let's not go to that. What about Hitler's henchmen? My Twitter feed's going to be... You know Hitler's henchmen? Yeah, they used to be... In the Batman. <laughs> no, Hitler was never a they Batman start, super villain. They don't start <laughs> punching Batman and it would go boom, sack, and Heil, then they go boom. Will uh, Batman no. <laughs> cover himself with gasoline and set himself on fire to make himself sound more serious? Garrick, what about Garrick? Garrick. Will Garrick eat no. this plate of sandwiches? <laughs> oh, G O E R R. Now, what about. Oh, ga- yeah. Yes, Garrick, I meant. Or, or Himmler. 
or uh, I didn't need anybody's. Pass. I didn't, I didn't need anybody's asshole out. Well, you might have licked it and spit it out afterwards. He likes <laughs> spitting <laughs> apparently. But the that was snake venom, and that was fake. Standout was where uh, Hess lived his last years. He wasn't. I don't think he was killed at Nuremberg. Hmm. I mean, I don't think he was sentenced Most to death. Them, they all, a lot of them fled to South America, right? Most of them. You would know. <laughs> 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 Him and uh, well, that Weisenthal character. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. Uh, Why well, don't use him like most people use a police dog? <laughs> you know? I'm pitching this show next fall. Well, you where I just go down to South America and just try out, and find all the Nazis. He tries Nazis to sniff out the them. Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> and when he finds the Nazis in South America, he doesn't bring them the justice. He yeah. licks. No, he, what he licks their ass. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He tracks so, down Nazis yeah. for, for years, yeah. and then he finally gets them and licks their ass. All right. So he's th- like he's near their house. He watches their habits. They get a, a, like, a which which reminds me. Like it's a rabbit farmer. When's your next appointment at Sloan Kettering? <laughs> <laughs> That's where you go, Sloan Kettering? Yes, because he licks out Nazi <laughs> assholes. Oh, my God. And that's why he's dying of throat cancer. So he will go to Argentina and, like, yes. stake out. <laughs> this guy's changed his name. He's a rabbit farmer. Yeah, I'm real thorough. And you stake him out. <laughs> and he gets on that bus every day. And then one day you tackle him, and he's like, this is it. He's, uh, this fella's going to bring me to, to Israel. Yes. Put me in some sort of a booth. Have the, the people I killed in front of me. And, and, and what does he do instead? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh, Adam, you get... <laughs> You licked a fucking asshole of that guy instead of taking him to justice? These Nazi monsters! Jesus, they who should... have escaped justice, you track them down, lick their assholes. You know, I'm glad you have throat cancer. Yeah, I mean, this guy should face their accusers. <laughs> Look at these guys worked in a death machine. <laughs> I, I need they to... slipped through pretending to be part of the Allied forces. <laughs> made their way with the help of who knows who. Probably the CIA, I've heard. They get to Argentina. They're always looking behind them, though. <laughs> why why day, are they looking then, behind well, them? Well, one day, what do they see behind them? I, I could take a I guess. <laughs> Oh my God, Adam Egan! I need to see this. All these years they've been looking at But if you Adam. were eating out Martin Borman's asshole in South America, I think it would go a little something like this. <laughs> Come on, man! There's uh, Adam eating Joseph Mengele's asshole. Oh, Maybe he'll help. Oh my God! <laughs> That's it. I'm, I'm going to be an important comic. So Joseph Mengele, who did all these operations on twins. Right, sure. Cut one of their eyeballs out compared <laughs> to the other one. Yeah. Kill one Real compared fucked to the other yeah, one. Yeah, you have a head. chance yeah. to bring him to justice. And does he get punishment or does he get rewarded? <laughs> Or do you get rewarded? to say any of these guys would enjoy uh, somebody well, like no. eating their assholes. <laughs> do you? I mean, how did he react <laughs> on the streets of uh, Rio de Janeiro or wherever it is? <laughs> My Twitter feed's going to be out of control yeah. for this episode. <laughs> Only man, Seven Weisenthal, personally fired <laughs> the organization. <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable. Really is an unbelievable story. And one of the worst dinner party anecdotes you've ever shared with us. We have to eat now. Hey, we're we're about to go on camera. Can you wipe some of Himmler's shit off your mouth, please? I do. <laughs> You have Heinrich Himmler's shit on your mouth, according to Gilbert. <laughs> this is all very, very scandalous and provocative. I mean, I don't know which side to believe. But we give uh, a 
what this show is all about. We give equal size. He's saying <laughs> that that thing on the side of your mouth is similar shit right. from you licking his asshole out. Uh, <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but when are we getting Kathy Griffin? <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Not now. That Not Gilbert after she her. found out that you <laughs> you have similar shit on your mouth. She is. Good luck getting Kathy Griffin. She is now. a little. She is a little progressive. <laughs> She yeah, has. She's a new thing. <laughs> Stoller fucked her. Oh, did you know that? What? F- Fred Stoller's fucked her. He did? That's what he said, right? That's what he said. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah. I love how that's a bigger story than this. <laughs> not not <laughs> hunting down Nazis and giving them rent jobs. And their assholes out. <laughs> did you ever think of turning them into the Jesus authorities Christ. after? What about afterwards? Like, couldn't you have brought... <laughs> Your tongue plus a gun? <laughs> you make a good point. I'm not going to... Couldn't you have held a gun to his head and go... <laughs> <laughs> Is, does, your, does your insatiable hunger for Nazi shit know no bounds? <laughs> These are all valid points. <laughs> they're, all, they're all very, very... They all have merit. Yeah, well, you're, you... <laughs> It must have been like a fucking uh, <laughs> mouthful of pennies that day. Oh, right, because I, I apparently said it tasted like copper. That's what you said, it tasted like copper. Right. <laughs> I think J.C. Penny's current ad king <laughs> is the spokesman. Copper, yeah, yeah, copper, J.C. Penny. the spokesman for J.C. Licking Penis. Hitler. Right. It's like a mouthful of pennies. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, uh, well, that's all the time we have for and the And there's a picture of Adam oh. going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not a bad picture. No, no, that's... You know what I yeah. thought he was going to do? Something like... Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like this. <laughs> okay. Um, he does it good. Like, he does yeah. it, I think, like a lady would enjoy it. <laughs> not an old... A lady! <laughs> <laughs> do they look like the pictures of when they were in Nazis, or do they look like just an old man? Sometimes when I see them, I go, that doesn't even look like... <laughs> you know what I mean? By that? Is it's it, just a guy, man. It's just, just a guy. guy. Is the Hitler mustache <laughs> a real mustache? <laughs> or is it just shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now. We're not going to... We're not in any way saying that Hitler did this. <laughs> All right. Well, it's never been I proven. I apologize. <laughs> this is, I mean, I, I'm apologizing to an apologist, but whatever. I'm not an apologist. I thought you were a Hitler apologist. No. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what? Oh, they actually run out yeah. of tape. <laughs> Fucking God. Instead of getting a signal to wrap it up, they pretend they're they running out, out of tape. tape. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's your, like it's your grandfather's bell and howl. <laughs> All right. Well, do you have any impression to leave us with? <laughs> <laughs> Are we still on? <laughs> we have enough, they say we have enough time for one last impression. Okay, this is Adam. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen an Adam. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm excited to see this, Frank. Licking out Goring's asshole okay, yeah. while he's sunbathing in South America. <laughs> that is pretty close. And no, on, wait, really. you missed the end. Oh. Oh, I got throat cancer now. There was a twist. Okay. No, it's good. No, it's Gilbert candy. Godfrey, everybody. And my Twitter account's at Real Gilbert. No, it, yeah, it's at Real, yeah, it's Gilbert. Real Gilbert. And my website's GilbertGodfrey.com. Get you my get book, the book, Rubber Balls and Liquor, yeah. and Dirty Joke DVDs. Hear me read Fifty Shades of Grey and see a film clip of Adam eating out. <laughs> Adolf Hitler's corpse's asshole. <laughs> Video of this? Thank you, everybody. 
something. An that was hour. like an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoyed the show tonight, why not tell a friend, huh? Make sure to subscribe below on youtube.com forward slash Norm MacDonald.